Why? Why? Why do you want me to suffer? <laughs> Man, my camera feels off. Why am I so sharp? Is sharp the right word? Hello? Camera? <laughs> um, I don't I actually have a I have a nice cap today. But I can also drink a Mountain Dew as well, if you would like. And then switch to the ice cap. That is that a, an acceptable compromise? Maybe it's the light. <laughs> and I'm looking at that and I'm oh no, my white balance is off. It's pink. That's why I'm confused. Acceptable? Alright. <laughs> That's my is it fine? Are we fine? I feel like we're fine. Hello. Hi guys. How are you today? Oh flippy. <laughs> I'm here. I made it. I made it in time. I was worried. Well not that. I wasn't really worried. I just didn't think I was going to. Cause uh last night so I had a headache last night when I was trying to sleep. And I was really irritated at my ticky clock. So we had a fight. And by a fight I mean <laughs> it, I woke up this morning, it was like face down with its battery pack ripped out. Um <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> so my clock wasn't set up to like keep me because I it's like right next to where I get ready usually and uh <laughs> to like keep me knowing what time it was. And I checked my phone and it was like, you have eight minutes. And I was like, shit, <laughs> you're doing all right. Kind of waiting for my family to leave on vacation. And if you did, you're like, I want the house to myself so I can be alone. <laughs> That'll be nice. I know it's been a long time since mom's left us here for more than like an afternoon. Um, we just like don't have money for anyone to go on vacation. So <laughs> nobody goes anywhere. <laughs> um, we are going somewhere tomorrow, though. This is kind of like a warning as well. Uh, so I have an appointment out of town tomorrow with the specialist to talk about all the body pain that happens to me. And uh, we may or may not be staying overnight. But either way, I have to leave before I would normally fall asleep. So I'm probably not going to sleep tonight, which means that. I may or may not be doing Wednesday stream, depending on how messed up I get. Uh, if we stay over, I almost definitely won't. I'll let you guys know. But, uh, you know, I, I wasn't going to be like, no, no specialist that it took six months to get into. I'm not going to come because I have to stream. Uh, so I'm going to do that. We have to go out of town. We're not we're not entirely sure what we're doing. Did you see that? Yeah, I did see that. I do check that channel just because I don't post it, like don't say anything a lot. Just when I don't check, I still moderate you guys. <laughs> I don't even know what I moderate. I'm just like making sure y'all not being <laughs> like <laughs> white supremacists in there or something. <laughs> I'm just like, yep, still, still porn. Yep, all right. <laughs> um, so I did see that. I, I don't know why that is more cough cough than usual like it's it's just it seems just like something kindle post you know it's pretty it seems pretty normal to me but maybe 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 i should just be concerned about how normal that is yeah yeah i i saw it it is not safe for in the not <laughs> yeah, do you want him to whip up the board? What do you want? <laughs> he could get worse. <laughs> I opened up my, my browser for some reason. Oh, I was going to check on the, the bot because it took an hour for it to post yesterday. Or, sorry, it's Monday today. Uh, Saturday. So, I'm not, maybe I'm not logged in or something. A gas tracker. What is this? We can use a, <laughs> there's a new command for the bot that says that we can check the latest Ethereum gas prices and fees. What? 
Why would I want to do that with my Discord bot? <laughs> that's that's nice. Um, no, I'm still logged in. I don't know why it takes so long sometimes. It just does what it wants, as far as I know. That's really random. But uh, I'm glad you're doing good, Draco. How are you today, Kindle? I managed to unflip it. Not this one, though. It flips. I've been thinking about, for some reason, the whole time I was getting ready, I was thinking about X-Men. I don't know why. Um, just little tiny X-Men clips. And I kept... <laughs> I kept thinking about um, Rogue. And me like, how oh, she's so whiny and then me going well i guess she does kill everybody that she touches but like why would you even want to touch somebody <laughs> aj hey welcome back i i saw that you were on yesterday and i was sad because i couldn't um be your stream i have date nights on sunday um how are you doing i'm just i'm here i'm supposed to be drinking this whole thing but i'm not because I'm over here talking about how I was thinking about X-Men. There. It was spilling over the edge. I think I should wear my Mountain Dew earrings to my doctor tomorrow. I think that's funny. Oh, no, whereas I was playing a pew-pew game. I don't know how to play <laughs> with my... With your playing a pew-pew game, you don't know how to play with your partner. Okay. My reading comprehension skills are low. Uh, I do that. I play a lot of Overwatch with other people. Well, not lately. They play. They were playing constantly for weeks, and then they stopped all at once, and they like didn't discuss it. And by them, I mean my brother, my fiance, and my best friend, who are all we're all friends. Uh, <laughs> it's his favorite game, so sometimes I'll play with him, and he listens to my Sims on Sisson Exchange. Me and my uh, my partner used to do this uh, thing where. When we played two, we played two separate games on call, and we just talk about the games, but we weren't really listening to the other person. So it was just like a, a non conversation where we're both saying things about <laughs> what's going on. Like I, the last one I remember that we did like a lot of, he really likes a uh, a uh, Banner Lord, like a uh, Mountain Blade, and he play, and then I would play Skyrim. So, and he, he specifically remembers I was doing my run through where I was a cannibal. So I kept talking about eating people while he was playing this Bannerlord mod where he's in Japan. And he kept going on about how much rice there was. And I kept going on about eating people. And it just was a non-conversation. It was so funny. I was like, do you remember? Because he was playing uh, Mountain Blade the other day. And I was like, do you remember <laughs> when we did that? Uh, but yeah, we've had to set up specific date times because we've both been so busy lately that we haven't really had time to, like, we we were just leaving it up to, like, life to let us, you know, get, you know, we'll get together whenever we're not busy, but we've been so busy that it wasn't happening. So I was like, I think we should probably, we should probably do something about that, I think. So we've been, we've been playing a lot of Civ, actually. We, you know, just taking over the world on date night. You don't play games with people very often. Yeah. We uh, we did play the it was I mean you play TF two a lot which I guess is with other people but it's not like they're just random people I guess so I suppose it depends on what you consider with other people because I don't consider randoms uh, other people as much as they're just like a a thing to navigate in most games. Aww. It's what is, what a, is cheer a cheer wall? wall? Looks like a snowman that doesn't know what narwhal is lol. <laughs> He's so cute. And like the different amounts give you different animations. That's so sweet. One time your aunt was staying on my couch and my partner and I were playing our own games on our desk and I was playing Sims. I said, oh no, fire. <laughs> and your aunt freaked out. Oh no. <laughs> I feel like... Someone would have to be, like, really concerned sounding in our house to, like, yell something and, like, somebody actually think there was a problem. Because the weirdest stuff gets yelled in our house and we're just like... My partner doesn't live with me. I live with the, my mom. We're working on that. Aww. <laughs> Cheerful! I'm sorry that the, the bot doesn't say anything when you cheer less than, like, 10 minutes or something. 
because we had this one day where everybody was cheering one bit to play the entire Pokemon theme song on my text to speech bot. We had to slow them down. <laughs> this, is, this is why we can't have nice things. All right, I'm gonna finish this and then we are going to... Thank you so much for the fifth AJ. <laughs> you don't have to do that. They are adorable though. That's such a cute. Like the 101 dies. <laughs> but this one, the one is pretty cute. Um Yeah, finish this and we're going to get into the Stanley parable. Uh so I'm I'm going to try I'm try not to talk too too much. Talk about yourselves children while I do this. It says like she's still grown up here. It feels weird with any music or anything. It's just me silently. It's not silent if you keep talking, Sarah. Yeah. Kindle decided to redeem this before my stream even started, so. <sighs> yeah, how are you doing, AJ, by the way? I don't think I asked how you were doing. Just started talking to you. And once again, a festive mood. I'm probably gonna put the the holiday emotes up in Twitch uh, like a week early. I still want them to be a little, you know, like special. <laughs> but I want you guys to have some time to play with it. Cause last year we did like um uh the twelve days of Christmas. I'm doing five days of Halloween. Uh, Cause twelve days of Christmas is tiring. Also, it's hard to find Christmas games. Right. You're on your couch playing on your Switch. Ooh, what are you playing? My brother has a Switch right now. And by the Switch, I mean my Switch. <laughs> he has my Switch. Playing Scarlet for the third time. What is that? I typed that in and it says delivering deal value or diagnostic data viewer or downhold deployment val i'm gonna get oh dreamlight valley <laughs> like, there's no way this is any of these things <laughs> um yeah i've watched people play that uh a uh, friend of friend of the stream rose uh, plays disney dreamlight but i don't think she's played in a while but she played it pretty religiously when it first came out um, and it was so relaxing to, like, just watch her, like, run around and do the little thing. <laughs> Definitely diagnostic data value. Enjoy the dude or chuck it unless we tell you to. You have told me to. Wait, why do I have a drop? A drop for what? Leave me alone. Is this for Fortnite? Oh, it is for Fortnite. I'm watching people. Well, I'm not watching. I'm lurking in some Fortnite stream of my friends. It's very fun. I I thought it. Yeah, I think it was on Game Pass, and that's how a lot of people were getting it. I don't have Xbox Game Pass or anything like that. Um, I don't have an Xbox. The junk. Okay. We're almost done. I wish I could chug properly, but I just can't. I'll like, just they'll just be Mountain Dew everywhere. <laughs> We need Damon here to make fun of my collar today because he's he's extra amused by the collar thing this week again. It's only kinky if I buy a leash too. My Xbox 360 died several years ago. Uh -huh. we still have them. Like by them, I mean we had multiple because we would set up one with the projector. Um. My uncle gave us extras, and then we set up one with a. It it does PC game. I don't know. I don't. I don't have Game Pass, and I don't. I don't know. I don't like paying for like subscription based services. I try to limit the amount that I have because it bothers me to not like own something and instead have to con continuously pay for things. It's like it. It drives me crazy. It's why I won't. 
I would never actually own, like pay for Photoshop because it's stupid. I like I will buy a program for thousands of dollars, but I will not repeatedly pay a subscription fee. <laughs> um, so I only actually pay like subscription fees for myself for Spotify and then like Twitch people. Uh, my fiance buys my <laughs> Discord Nitro for it's my it's my Valentine's Day gift. <laughs> Which I love. And uh like I just like pay you back off my mom's Netflix and stuff. So that's it's like <laughs> I hate subs. I've 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 tried games that are subscription based, but I, other people bought the subs for me. I was like, I'm not playing this if I have to subscribe myself. This is nonsense. <laughs> I think the only thing I bought once was n the Nintendo thing that you have to keep buying every week or every month to connect Nintendo Online. For the switch i bought that when i played a lot of animal crossing because you can't share your patterns unless you do that that's nonsense i call i call greed capitalist there you go it's gone you bought it for a year i did three months at a time because i wasn't sure how long i was gonna be on like doing it you know i um I like I really loved Animal Crossing when I played, but it was like one of those intense, like hyper focus addiction sort of games that like I played constantly until I ran out of stuff to do. <laughs> I mean, I maxed out all of my island upgrades in like the absolute minimum amount of time you can with with, with like without time traveling. So definitely hyper focus on it. Yeah. I don't have like ADHD or anything, but I there's definitely a few games that I like I get what people are talking about because you just it's like it's like your FOV changes and you just focus and that's it. That's all you do. It's all you think about. You dream in it. There's nothing else. Um so I did that with Animal Crossing for sure. And I refuse to pick it back up because I know if I pick it back up, you guys will not nobody will see me again for months. Uh <laughs> you you do, it's like tunnel vision, yeah. Like, I get what, like, I get you guys mean by the, like, hyper-focus, because it happened, but it's not, like, a part of my life that happens all the time. Um, my brother is autistic, uh, so he gets a lot of that sort of thing, and, uh, my fiancé, the D, and <laughs> I just, like, I hear about it all the time, and I'm like, I see parts of this, uh, but also, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> All right, so Mountain Dew done. We have instead of Mountain Dew, we have uh, we have Tim Hortons, of course. My mom, my brother, uh, my just my mom. Sorry, was out today, and she yeah, my brother, and they grabbed me one. Um, we're gonna minimize my browser, and now that I've been here for ages and not actually started the game, we're gonna hop over to the Stanley Parable. <laughs> da -da -da. It's asking what my time is. Oh. Oh, that was a lot of Mountain Dew all at once still. So, like, I was going to say warning, but I don't think it's a warning. Uh, just, like, heads up, years and years ago, I watched Markiplier play this. And that was, I don't even know how long that was, but, like, the original. So I have seen this game before, but... It's been so long that I don't think it will matter too much. Uh, hang on to what? Oh, I'm supposed to click. <laughs> well, I'll finish what I was saying then. I don't think it'll matter too much. Like, I remember certain little things, like, for some reason, the closet. There's a, there's a cupboard that's, like, a really, that they, you could just stand in. And I, like, I think you played Portal at some point, and you follow the yellow lines and they go all wiggly in one of the things, but there's not a lot of like specific scenarios or anything that I remember. Is this game spooky? No, it is not. Um, well, there might be like little things, but it's not supposed to be spooky. So the Stanley Parable was made to explore the concept of choices and free will in games and how... That, like people respond to that so basically 
it's an extremely non-linear game uh, where you just make decisions. So, with, but there's a narrator. So, um, let's say it's like compliance or defiance is probably the main theme of this game. Are you going to do what you're told or are you going to try a different path? Um, but yeah, it just kind of, I don't even know how to explain. You'll see, you'll see. Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you booted up the game. Oh, uh, yeah, I booted up to make sure it... <laughs> a lot of people don't take that step seriously. They just leave the clock set to 12 and call it a day. But you're actually taking the time to set the clock, and I appreciate that. That's how I know that you care about this experience. You're paying attention. I don't even have a way of knowing if the times you're setting are correct. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. That you've been so cooperative. Next time you boot up the game and see the stream, just set the clock to your favorite time. Go ahead, pick whichever time you want, even if it's not the correct time, you've earned it. <laughs> All right, I'll let you get back to the game now. Yeah, I set the clock when I when I booted up last time to make sure it was attached to my OBS. So yeah, so this is the Ultra Deluxe version, which is like they added the game originally came with about I think 19. 19 endings I read somewhere, but they added 26 more. So it has a lot of stuff. So I can't tell you if I'll accidentally stumble into the new content or the old content because I've never played the game before. And the first time I booted up, I told them I hadn't played it. Before. So it's not going to try to lead me to the new content. Oh my gosh, my nose has been so stuffy lately. <clears throat> and I don't even know why. I've been not hanging out with the cat. Like, it's the opposite. I think he secretly comes into my room and just rubs his butt on my face. And he's like, there you go. Allergies. <laughs> and there's never the end. 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 This is the story of a man named Stanley. I, I am. <laughs> Stanley worked for a company in a big building. Where he was employee <laughs> you can't. Uh, you have to have the cat anyway. It's important. Number four two seven's job was simple. I he sat at his desk in room four two seven, and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee four two seven did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, Cookies! something very peculiar. Enjoy them. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, Here, take frozen clock. solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits Not and regained to, his to senses, move. he got up from his desk and stepped Good out Good morning! Office. The end is never the end is never the end. The end is never the end is never the end is never. Hello! <laughs> How are you two? I, uh... Well, I'm a bit slidey, huh? Hear my ticky clock here. <laughs> you felt bad for the narrator? Alright, I'm supposed to step out in the hallway. Hello? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley mean? decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So... As I was saying earlier, this game is kind of about, <laughs> it's about like choices in games and free will and stuff, but it's also about like compliance or defiance. And I had kind of a question of the day for you guys. Are you guys more of a, like is your first instinct 
to do what you're told or to do to not do what you're told to do the opposite the meeting room at the meeting room oh when stanley came to a set of two open doors it he entered the door on his left so in like this situation, I immediately am compelled to do what the, the narrator tells me to do. Like I would do exactly what he told me to do most of the time. Uh, instead of doing like, <laughs> the fact that he's telling me to do something does not make me want to disobey him. But I think a lot of people feel the urge to do not. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Office party! There's a smiley face. Do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. There's a specific manager for the whiteboard? R.I.P. Franz. Who's Franz? Tomorrow, complete today's unfinished agenda items. Write next day's agenda. Reflect. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Who moved my desk? Please keep the targets on topic. <laughs> Number of slides on this slide. <laughs> right, sorry, boss's office. I don't have an obey, disobey reaction. It's more, does this make sense? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Now I know there's a broom closet egg dig, but we'll do it we'll do it later. Oh, you could close the door. <laughs> I think my question is not so much yeah, it's not so much what would you actually do, it's what is your first reaction. So if you don't have a first reaction, that's fine. But like because my first reaction is always Kindle to... 333 says, oh, D.I.D. you get the broom closet ending? The broom Coming closet ending was my favorite exclamation mark 1XD. I can't, I don't even know what he just said to me. Um. <laughs> huh? Hello? Why did you turn into a uwu girl <laughs> at the end there? Because yeah, my first urge is to like do what I'm told. Usually I will then think about it, but my first urge is always to just follow the instructions. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Jesus Shocked, Christ, this is unraveled, a... Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. A huge what ceiling. What secret was being held from him? Don't like what he it. could not have known Bammy. was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible okay. truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Oh, and so no. the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Eight. Oh, I got an achievement <laughs> for 888888. Eight, 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 eight. Two. What did he say? Three, four, five, two. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Eight. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly oh, two, know eight. that the combination was 2845. All the eights yeah. confused me. By simply pushing random oh, buttons wow, on the keypad, nuts. Stanley happened to input the correct oh, code it's dark. by sheer luck. Amazing. There? He stepped into the newly opened passageway. It's a dome reference, or demo reference. Oh, okay. Was it eight, 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 eight before? Thank you for the achievement. I do love a good achievement. Kindle confuses all. Ah. Only sometimes. Uh, how are you doing today, Panda? Panda who who questions the, 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 the instructions building, instead Stanley of just doing them. He felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt um. more free to think for himself. 
to question the nature of the job. Same. Why did he feel this now? It's when been freezing. It had never I mean, like, finally. It's been this really warm, and, and that was weird. For it's actually cold now, and I'm like, oh, cold in Canada. At least that makes sense. Are you okay, elevator? I guess there's no going back up. Stanley walks straight ahead through mind the large control door the facility. Mind control facility. No, we're supposed to walk straight ahead. Narrator says go straight ahead. I feel like it makes the most sense to do what you're told first, and then we start disobeying the narrator in every way possible. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What wow. horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley said. What horrible himself. secret did, did this place hold? To find out. I do. I'm a strong little diso strong little obedient child. Button. Now the monitors jump to life. Fired! Nature revealed. What am I Each for? Bore the number of an employee in the building. Oh. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many I, individuals. I forgot what number. Four twenty-seven, but it's too late. One of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Four two seven. It's over there. Show me, show me my office. There I am, the the uh, empty office with nobody there. So where did everybody go then, though? Oh my god, my <laughs> my headset keeps switching. Um, how loud it is because my hair is touching it. I don't know why. <laughs> Please stop. It pops up on the screen every time. It's very annoying. Oh. This mind oh, control oh. facility. Oh. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be uh. true. Uh. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That yes. his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yeah, mind control facility, bro. I think we're being no. mind controlled. He refused to oh. believe it. Never mind, he I don't accept, accept it. <laughs> Never mind. His own life in someone else's control? Never. No. It was unthinkable. Wasn't no. it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I mean, but narrator, haven't we we all kind of done that? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very mm -hmm. place. I don't and see anything like that. as the reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery <laughs> would never events. again exert its terrible power <laughs> over a Oh, we're going to do something life. about For it, are we? He, would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay. We're gonna dismantle the controls somehow. Da, 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 da. Turn it on. No, I'm following the instructions. Ah. <laughs> I will do as I'm told, Kindle. Because to escape the mind control, I will follow exact direction from a narrator I cannot see. Hello? And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? The end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never. He had won. Have he I? had defeated the machine. This is a very short story, from narrator. from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where Cookie! Welcome gone? back! How I had he been wanted. freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight yeah. streamed into the chamber, we've done the follow the instructions thing. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. This reminds me of Portal when you no like see the outside. Tell him where to go, what to do, Does that maybe in Portal 2? I think it's in Portal 2 that we see the outside, lives, right? It will be his. And that Coffee was cookie. all he needed to know. It was perhaps the Thanks. only thing Thank worth you. knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. This is a barn. 
You, you done? All right. Stanley felt the cool breeze <laughs> Did you think skin, of a cookie? The feeling of liberation. The immense yeah, possibility sure. of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. The narrator. The end is never, and the Stanley end is never. was happy. Never. Never. That's just if we follow the directions. That is the, I followed the, the directions. So AJ, we, we had a question. I have a question of the day today that has to do with this, this, uh, this game. So the Stanley Parable is a lot about um, compliance or defiance. Are you going to listen and follow what the narrator does? Or are you going to explore for yourself? Because we're exploring like lack of linearity in games and free will and stuff, right? So my question for everyone is, is your first like urge, not what you actually do, but like your first urge to comply or defy instructions? Do the same, but turn the machine on. We can do that. All of his co-workers were gone. What Let's go turn mean? the mind control Stanley machine decided on. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I'm going, I'm going, narrator. We have things to do. Tindall wants us to do stuff. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. The door on his left will take us back. One entrance. Two, eight, four, Yet five. There was not Thank a single you. person here either. Tips for not getting fired. Disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Nimpen has started watching the stream. Hello, Nimpen! We, uh, we have started the Stanley Parable. This is the Ultra Deluxe version. Um, I've never personally played, but I watched uh, Markiplier play way back in the day, the original game. Um, so I, I, I just finished doing exactly what the game, the narrator told me to do. And Kindle has suggested I do the same thing, but I press Stepping a different into button. His manager's office, so, uh, Stanley was once again we're running there. to discover not an indication of any human life. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly, <laughs> as, quickly as, possible, as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. Sorry! That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he <laughs> relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. I've been told. <laughs> I just got in trouble for going too fast. <laughs> Work Lives Run is so Being fun to watch. It really was. Stanley calmly walked forward. I watched a lot of uh, Mark Plyer, but I watched more Jack Septicai back in the day. I found Mark Plyer through Jack Septicai, which I think is a little bit unusual. Um, but that's how I found a hand. <laughs> Coffee. My 7 30 p.m. coffee. Right. Narrator, I gotta go. We have buttons to press, narrator. Can't get too upset with me. I already saw this part. I have lots of decisions I want to make that you didn't tell me to do, but we'll we'll see. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Through the escape. Did you know that the original version of this game, like back when they were first first coming up, that it had a flowchart to take you to different places, but people found that linearity too uh boring. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Da, da, did he da. have the strength to find out? Do I have the strength to find it again? Yes. Let's look at some of the screens this time. Oh, this one. Turn the cameras now on. Now the monitors jump to life. Their Where's... true nature revealed. There's Each one. Each the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. Huh? The lives of so many Who's individuals. Who's that one that looks like the devil lives there? Screen. And Stanley, one of them. You love the narrator? I do too. I don't remember the name of the guy who voices the narrator, but he's he's very he's very good and the, the script for him is fantastic. It's it's so funny. <laughs> like a little whiteboard in that one. Yes. We gotta go to the mind control mind facility control facility controls. It was too horrible to believe it couldn't be. Come on, true. narrator. Had Stanley really been down. under someone's control Put me down. all this time? 
Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? <clears throat> Hang on, we have to be more dramatic. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I'll tell you something good if you want. Uh, not yet. Let's let me explore the game a little bit, Gandalf. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. I don't see anything or labeled sad, with an emotion. Or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this These shiny buttons. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert What's, its what terrible power. What do these mean? Over another human like life. play billiards? For he would dismantle the controls once right. and Right. Okay. For I'm not going to dismantle the controls. I'm going to turn them on. Turn the mind control on. I will become the I'll become the one who controls everybody instead. We're going to take our power back, guys. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Yeah. Oh, Stanley. Help <laughs> <all that. laughs> But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to... <laughs> well, the narrating with the narrating? Track, you're yeah. You're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA uh -oh. identification, uh -oh. nuclear detonators are set to explode, uh -oh. eliminating the entire Sir. complex. Sir. How long until detonation then? Mm, no, you can't just make up a number. Narrator. Narrator. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, uh. isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But, but what precious moments each one of them Enable is. backup power no to activate. To I don't know where the backup power is. About me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where oh. to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. They would. Amanda I would. I didn't say anything, but I would definitely would. All right. I don't want to enable the backup power. Die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. Oh. I erased them. Oh. I turned oh. off the machine. I set you free. Oh. oh of course, oh, that four. was merely in this instance of the story. Four. Sometimes Where's four? I, I don't know where four I is. You sit there in your office. I don't know where four is. Endless. How am I supposed to save anymore? my life? Narrator, you asshole! I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. It's four up here. Say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. I need you to shut up, Nar. I'm you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you. It's quite rich. I found four. I see it it's up here. I will come I back if I don't do I this. Come up with on the next go around will be even better. What have I My pressed goodness, for? Only 34 seconds left. Oh, but I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra ah! time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh no! I have oh, one dear, attempt remaining. That's Stanley. not good. Is it that you have no did I do it wrong? I'm sorry, I did it wrong. Supposed to be doing right now. Why does everybody want me to press four? But I thought I pressed four. Hello, Taco. I mean, look at you. It wants Running, me to press four a lot. Button, screen to screen, <laughs> clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. It or says four on the button, screen. Or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? <laughs> yes, I do. I think you'd be solved. Any idea ah! what purpose in this place is? <laughs> <laughs> the narrator is crazy. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's this just seconds ticking away to your death. 
You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. You're kind of an asshole, this Mr. Narrator. It's a tragedy. Oh. You wanted to control this world, Evil. that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first. So you Oh! Can't. Oh no! Uh <laughs> take a look at the clock standing. That's 30 seconds you have. Goodbye, employee. Just you being blown to pieces. What is the narrator's the same one? I don't fucking know. know! Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. <laughs> all <apart laughs> <from the joke. laughs> And believe me, I will be there ah! every ah! Narrator! From the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I exploded the nukes. Whoopsie daisies. And it's never the end. Never the end. It's never the end. And I'm doing good, Taco. How are you today? We dead. But we aren't, Draco, you see. We aren't dead. We're still alive somehow all right there were things i wanted to do all of his co-workers were gone what could it mean stanley decided Ooh. to go to the meeting. i hate Perhaps mondays mr memo i'm glad you're good house no house of world safe looked, of course we have to find always keep the updates stanley went around touching every little thing in the office but poke. it didn't make a single difference poke, poke, nor poke, poke. did it advance the story in any way Look, narrator, if I poke everything. Stanley Parable, hello, Damon! Yes, indeed. Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe version, of course. We have done two endings. Now I'm poking everything because it annoys the narrator and he's a little asshole. Well, I mean, I love him, but, you know, also an asshole. You're special. You didn't turn off. And <laughs> which endings? The the follow all the directions regular one and the I set off the nuke. <laughs> What's this one special for? Tell me why it's special game. Input received. Yeah, we haven't been at this very long. Find the others. Ooh, there are others. Those are the two most many wait until the bug I know the I mean so we have kind of a, a question of the day today, Damon, which is like, what is your first urge when when given directions like this in a game? Is it to defy the orders? Or is it to uh comply with uh with oh, the instructions? Please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door Fight five the power. times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? Yes. No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits. There are other computers. Unless it's the tutorial. Five clicks. Now, yeah, that's fair with the tutorial. Twenty times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty. This is more than twenty, dude. Computer special. These tutorials are, <clears throat> if I don't follow them, then I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, my answer is on, actually, my first are just to just do what I'm told. <laughs> like the narrator wants me to do something, I'm like, yeah, of course. But I've already done it now, so obviously we have to try this. Are there other computers? Are they somewhere else? Did we go through the wrong door today? No. When to the, Stanley came to a set of two open the doors, left door. he entered the door on his left. Out in there. Come in. Come in. No. <laughs> Press Yet there was not everything. a single person here either. <laughs> Feeling a wave of disbelief, mm. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping oh. he might find an answer there. <laughs> Let it fall up inside. You take it out passive aggressively on other co workers, resent co workers for not supporting you more. Let it fall up inside of you. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header and throw some bevel on that tech. All the text. This will ensure a calm and productive work environment. 
Everyone is unique. You most of all. <laughs> it's special because you're special. I can't remember which thing you said. I couldn't find any more computers for input. Nice. Can I copy my butt? No. Well, I'm glad. Where is this projector projecting? Oh, there it is. I was like, where is the projector? Is it just... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 Not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Ranch. Have some duct tape. Is this like film or what? Is, it just looks like rope. It skipped. What skipped? TMG. I think it's just a right. Oh, it's wire. You guys are you guys are both like Sarah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what about you? You taco. Do you? Do you obey? Do you do you disobey or obey? Do what was I calling it? Do, defi oh, compliance or defiance? I think that sounds better than obey or disobey. Compliance or defiance, Taco. You comply. Your urge is to comply with the instructions. Mine too. I don't know why. I'm just like, my first urge, I know a lot of people get like this urge to do the opposite when they're just told to do something without like reasons. But I'm just like, of course I'll do that. And then I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> why am I doing this? I'm not leaving narrator. How long do I have to stand in here? I'm bored. But I should have stayed in here the first time. Depen well, yeah, it wasn't a question of like what you actually do. It was, it's a question about like your urge. Like what? Leave and come back? I don't know if this door over here closes behind me. Coming to a staircase, yep. ah! Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. No. No, I didn't. Oh? Well, demony down here. I love it. Downstairs. We go downstairs. Oh? You're shiny. Why are you shiny if I can't pick you up? Is it just the lighting? Hi. <laughs> Lenny? I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker. I'm having trouble reading that. There's a cactus on it. <laughs> but Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? It's such a competitive economy. Yeah, you're right. Had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why oh my did God! Close automatically behind him wherever he went. And for that, oh my God, it's a simulation. To look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, "This is all too strange. This can't be real." And Can at it, last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He oh. just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming. Oh. <laughs> This, this is, is all, all a dream. dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found all an answer, dream. an explanation. His coworkers <laughs> were actually gone. I was playing he wasn't this game, lose his job. and I he could see my feet in it. it was, I don't remember. Himself, I'm pretty sure it was on here. Soon, 
I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing. I don't have to. We're currently enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined. Don't worry, it's all more caffeinated. Began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself so No, it was a while ago, but you can't see your feet in that, right? Field, and it too appeared. I don't it want it. So magical. Fun, oh, this Stanley is a circle. Marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps Run. the strangest Run, Stanley. Run, Stanley. Stanley. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Fucking probably. Why uh. is there a voice in my head? Dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking. It was now, something more was recent, Kindle, but I could see. Considered by Stanley, oh, who thank found you. It particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my Any thoughts. He thought, and while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all. Stanley, hello, dreams, Russell. The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Is it a dream? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Is it not a dream? Are we in a simulation? What's going on? Have you stole my feet, sir? This Stanley British man as awake right took now, my feet. As he's ever been in his life. Now hearing the but voice there's two. words was quite a shock to Stanley. Hang on. But it, it does that. Look. Oh. But I thought, I thought I had... It. Oh, you're right. After all, I changed it in the program, but I didn't change this it. This was, in fact, a dream. It's British men. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago. How else would the voice explain all that? Yeah, this voice. This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just, he would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. Yeah. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. I... Let me wake up, he thought to himself. Can I wake up? I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. In this economy, I, want I need my a apartment job. And my wife. And my job. I have a wife? All I want is my life exactly the way. That would make me up. <laughs> my life is normal. I am normal. You never Everything played it though. Why make the choices time. you have no choice in what someone else can do for you? I, am I watched it years ago when Markiplier played it. Nope, we're still here. Damn it. I was gonna say, um Stanley began screaming. Stanley shh. I was gonna say we don't have Mountain Dew. We have Ice Cap. We had Mountain Dew, but it it was consumed in a in a more Mountain Dew regime. So um, now we have just Ice Cap. That's all this left. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. boss. I, have an I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. <laughs> and I had a heart attack. This is the story of a woman named Pardon? Mariella. Who? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, Mariella? had her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who was in town talking and screaming to himself. And then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Narrator, Everyone I will not have you slandering me in my life. death like this. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. Congrats, Mariella. I am in control of my mind. Do you, though? I know what is real you? and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had yeah, she scheduled for that day. The wow. very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Bye, Mariella. My dad just texted me. 
say my appointment is the same day as the day he has to take my brother to a thing at school, which is the reason we ask him to take my brother to a thing at school, because I will be out of town. Um, <laughs> that's the only reason he knows, so I'm confused with <laughs> Good job, Dad. Uh, so I died, except the end is never, the end is never, the end is never. So we're back. Uh, <laughs> so that's downstairs. Went all her life, all this time, thinking she had freedom in her choices, but evidently she would have no choices, being dead Stanley. <laughs> this is true. Because apparently he went crazy and stumbled around outside. All of his co-workers were gone. Oh. What could it mean? Me. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Off. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a I'm trace of his I'm not looking for my co-workers. Workers. I'm looking for screen setter on, sir. Ah. Oh! Input. Received. Okay, so that was the second one. It's in like a different... A different run through. Okay, so when we come back, it'll probably be another one. I want to go in the broom closet again, you guys. When Stanley yeah, came yeah, to left set door. Broom closet's doors, over here. He entered the door on his left. Sir. Sir, where's my broom closet? I want it back. Yet there was not a single, single person, person here, here either. either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, <gasps> Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> Sir! <laughs> Sir, what if I want? <laughs> I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, well. That was Coming down. Staircase, I don't Stanley feel like there's anything else down, but office. he's had enough of me. Uh, that's totally fair. Boss? Fancy bathroom? I got the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. Sog? S -s -s and see, no, it says that's a lovely, lovely purse, but what's this word supposed to be? <laughs> so, nope. So, say, okay. <laughs> I do not see a Y or an A. <laughs> say, that's a lovely purse. Is this a song? Looks like a song. Or po just a poem, I suppose. Can I, can I go on? I just want to take a poop in here, please. I've got the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. And then yours, of course. Say that's a lovely horse? Purse? Horse. Because that has a center candle. It's a fancy bathroom because it's got its own, like, side table and for the toilet. And it's big. Like, there's no reason for there to be this much room in a bathroom. Like, why would you need this much space between the toilet and the sink? But this mirror is kind of... This is what happens when they don't want to put reflections in games. Because they, they, you're not actually there. <laughs> I can't... I can't piss in here. I'm so disappointed. Narrator, don't you care? Don't you care that I've locked myself in the executive bathroom? Rich people having more space than needed. See, I feel like even if I was rich, I wouldn't have a lot of space. Or I'd have space, but I'd put people in that space, right? Like, what's the point of this? Like, just picking one room in the house. You like picking one room in a house and observing every detail? In real life? Like, going into people's. You put people in the restroom? No, I'd have smaller restrooms, or I'd put things in here. Like, this would have a shower, too. I feel- I still feel like you could put a whole shower here and still have too much room. I that with two humans. <laughs> like those people who- the really rich people in, like, TV shows that use people as furniture. Or, like, people with specific fetishes. But I watched, um, Deadly Class. 
and there's this person. I didn't watch a lot, a lot of it. There's this person who has people as furniture. I can leave? I suppose at any time you can go downstairs, but I already did that. Compliment me. Well done with the poop, sir. Perfect. Yeah, that's what I wrote to you. Oh, excuse me? No, Panda! You're being shot! Business strategy? <laughs> Look! It's a panda. Indoors monthly is like everywhere. Rafts. Time. <laughs> Time magazine. Hang on, I'm gonna check this out first. The beige pages. Business time. The assassins being assassins. <laughs> that guy gets the icicle. <laughs> God, I can't imagine. Panda's the assassin. You your, your name that everyone gives you is just the the icicle. I know there's a version where Mario's getting shot in in this room. How do I activate it? What what is he, what do you? I am the most expensive boss. <laughs> Me. Uh. Oh. It's in the switch version. I don't even know if you can go down. I kind of just hit the, the panel without specifying. I used to know the name of this song. Also, Stanley is singing to himself. Mm -mm. It has a name. Markiplier uses it. Because speaking of Markiplier, I'm thinking about him because we're playing this. He does Power Watch Simulator videos, and when they do the slow, like the <laughs> the slow mo, they use this music. I have been going up for a while. Employee, thank you for the follow. If are you employee four thirty two? Uh, I press a button and we just came out at the same spot. I am in the same room. Uh, excuse me. I'm trying to like go somewhere. But... Oh, we can try to go down. You're a huge fan of the game? This is my personal first time playing. Uh, <laughs> and we're just here to listen to music. But, um, I have seen it played a ages ago. Mark Blair's original run through. But this is the Ultra Deluxe version. Does the elevator take us anywhere? We're just here to listen. We're here to listen to music. Mm -mm. It's not called elevator music. <laughs> just a massive vibrator. <laughs> How it? I know it's vibrating, but like it's square. What are you gonna do with it, Russell? What would you do with it? Alright, we- this doesn't take me any- I just- Fun times in the- this is a good song. You would vibrate. <laughs> Forever. The sound lurking with love. Thank you, Daffy, I know you can't hear me. Maybe you have your CC on. All right, well, we did that. Now what? <laughs> I'm trying to make the narrator say stuff. <laughs> can we go... Can we go back? 
I'm, I really just want to take a shit in the executive bathroom, but I'm not allowed. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> Stop guessing what song this is. I can, let's, all right. You never actually played it, watched it a lot. What did, what did you say, Russ? Why would you make the choices for yourself when somebody else could do the, the non-choice choices for you? Let's see, America, Flyer, Power. Somebody wrote the name of the song in. This is not it, but I like this one. I have no idea if that's DMC for me or not. <laughs> close it, close it. Hello everybody, my name is Mark. Mark, I'm looking for a comment. Actually, there's like, it's like ages before he talks about it again. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll figure it out some other time. We're gonna go, <laughs> I'm working. <laughs> Mark. Poo. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Oh. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill Supreme. Wow, this is a shitty French accent, bro. You theorize mostly. Ah. I. It's been ages since I've seen this properly. So I thought, you know, it's been long enough. That like I won't remember how people got to certain things. I might I have remember like I have some memories like places people end up, but like I don't I don't know how they get there. I can't see the numbers. I'm sorry. I'm trying to type in the actual code, despite the fact that the door is open. The two. Boop. two. Yo, five, six, seven, eight, eight? Nope, six. Oh, eight's down here. Two. No, it's a three. Damn it. Two. Oh, that's a zero. Shit. That's a six. I can't see shit. Oh, seven. About, about, and play. Four, three, two. Eight. Oh, sh Oh, that's three. Oh, we were so close. I don't know why I need to do this now, but I do. No! <laughs> tell me, tell me not all your theories because that would take well. Tell me, tell me one theory, a bite size. Damn it. Well, I uh, do this for whatever reason. Where is eight? Oh, eight. Re okay. I did it. <laughs> I don't know why I did it. <laughs> I could not- you cannot see the buttons. I figured it out. I don't know how that helps anything, but I did it. Piano? No. You know, if- uh, whenever there's a piano in a room, I want to hit the keys. So, I feel like I would definitely hit the keys. What's this one? Carte Blanche et Mont Blanche. Ah. Sewage lilies by code money. <laughs> well, it's this one. Well, this one's confirmed, but it was a theory I made before learning it was true. You know how you set the time at the start? Yes. I was praised for setting it twice, even though because I booted up the game once to set it up for OBS and then booted up again today, right? I was praised, apparently. I did a good, good thing. They told me to set it to a Fun time. The time is 4.32. My, my favorite time. Hello. What if I go up this time? Can I go up? Oh, I can only go down. 
Oh, you think he's the one who asked for it? The one who's like, um, just typing. Because he doesn't have a voice. That's cool. Is he still in the building? Can we. Oh, we. <laughs> we can. Nope. Uh, never mind. Stan <laughs> actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. Stuff around here. Well, um, I did it because I could? Is that a good enough re reason? I'm back. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. No. It's still just exactly what it, it changed. is. changed. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points. Visit one four after three the other, twos, Leaving a rich tapestry we'll of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. The narrator is making fun of me. Your, your Sarnia is very rude. Uh, wait, no, that's sarcasm straight up. It's a lot easier to press the buttons when you can see them. Wait, that was wrong? But it was right before. What? We can't. We can't go back out. Darn it. Well, it's two eight four five. I remember thinking it should be two three four five because like that's an order, but instead it's two eight four five. We can like change it up. Two four eight five. No two. Two, eight, four, five. Well, we did a thing. You're welcome, narrator. I just ran around so you could make fun of my dumbass. I'm just... <laughs> We're gonna go back down now. Incredible. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all Thank this? Thank you for the hydrate. Be good to mix some real water in with a. I go back up. Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. It's time once again. I think everybody simps a bit for elevator. narrator. I can't even begin right? to grapple with what might be up there. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office <laughs> this so time? Funny. The suspense is killing me. He shames me and I like it. <laughs> look! Look, narrator! It's the boss's office again! Oh my god! It's the boss's office. <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. <laughs> You ship the narrator and Stanley. I mean, he's non corporeal. Okay, I'm ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning My dad revelation is to and call to move me. forward with. No! No, wait! Dad. No! I need more time to process. Dad, I'm live. Yes, you're driving him tomorrow. Please get your own calendar right. Thank you. It's a common ship. Oh, right. I mean, I have fully come to terms like with it. Every I have made space in my narrative. I feel like everything, every game, everything that exists that has characters has a ship. And the two main characters are the narrator and Stanley, so they must be shipped. That's that's the internet worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before. 
I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. It's Bossa Nova. Thank you. I knew it was something. Well, you're welcome, narrator, now that you've come to terms with this. Let's do it again! Narrator's just behind me the whole time. I do like how in some- like, mostly the, the narrator is annoyed with you, but at some points in the game, they, like, of course. They they kind of get along. Down the elevator. How did I not anticipate? Oh oh, we have the YouTube link. Give me. Do you have a Discord? I do, in fact, have a Discord. Everything I have is there. Uh, if you did X Wish Port Discord, it would send you the same thing. We have a Discord. We have Blue Land. This is a place where we we all hang out. And they scar me with the uh, with the secret not safe for work channel. And they they post memes. I don't understand. Uh, we're currently voting on a holiday movie night in the announcements channel. If you're interested in that. Um. <sighs> Why? <laughs> don't mind your username. Don't, don't even I mean, worry about sure, it. Now it's obvious, you can you nickname yourself if you want 30 to. 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. I had the narrator no is giving me so much sass. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision making is. A breath of fresh air <laughs> in a landscape of storytelling <laughs> that has grown stale and repetitive. <laughs> You're welcome, narrator. A hey, narrator. You can. Um, I'm not like super. You know what? Intense about where you post something. things, but media on, channel stop for a moment. or TikToks. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. <laughs> you and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. Oh, he stopped but the suspense. me. The agony of waiting and anticipating and oh. having to guess, that's the real thrill. I think it's the oh, boss's office. I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious, so mm -hmm. fleeting. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice and slow? Oh. There we go. Isn't this so much more exciting? You know, Stanley, it seems like nowadays the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. They want big, explosive moments flung right in their faces. I mean, I can, the after Alien, I don't know. Started. But where's the tension? Where's the trust in the audience to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story, the characters? Why <sighs> aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? To have to think and to anticipate and then to marvel at the eventual reveal. Have to listen. This <laughs> is storytelling. Then <laughs> your favorite what tick you of all time. Are doing right now. This is the most exciting. If it's not a, if it's not a duck. Years, and it's really all spinning? because of you. Well, then. You're the one who took this bold I will step check of revisiting the, the exact same locations over and over. Truly, I mean it. This is unique and different. It's not like anything else out there. You see. I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. No, there's not really a story think. about someone very slowly going I'm up an elevator. To. We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time, there's and we things all over know there. it. I want to go there. We're so Can I go there? The content that makes us feel like sharp it. and vital Where's that and from? alive. That's why people like you so much, Stanley. Ooh. Because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. You gotta go. You're okay, model, thanks for hanging out. People look up to you. Which is why, though I didn't know when to spring but, this on you, but, well, I've gathered a little press conference for A press you, conference? So you can talk about your work and your storytelling and your life. <laughs> yes, I know you're not much for the public I imagine, like, eye, a bunch of stuffed animals. But I thought it would mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. They really look up to you, Stanley. I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. This is the kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Oh. 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 It's the 
different. The room where we're holding the press conference should be just around the corner here somewhere. Huh. World's healthiest human being. All tricks revealed. How we did it. The pyramids. The guy who went to Mars. I'm not allowed in, in here. Okay. The storyteller, Stanley. Da, 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 da. What if I... Nope, no, I want to see. I was like, what if I went into the elevator again? <laughs> An evening with world peace, baby. Amazing. Ah, yes, here it is, just through this door. Oh, what? I'm looking. Oh. I, maybe I have stage fright, you don't know. Q&A with the world's first sentient machine. Doing great. A conversation with Alexander the Great. Two stage. Right. Are you ready? I've told them you're going to speak a little bit about the nature of surprise in storytelling and what it means to craft a truly unpredictable narrative. Oh, don't worry. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. I'm, I'm really proud of you, Stanley. Okay. It looks like they're ready for you. Go get them. I don't know if I'm ready. Congratulations, Stanley. Remember where you came from. Your co-workers. Bruh. Bruh. Break a leg, champ. Stanley. Me. Is that say dad or dead? I love the way you ride an elevator. <laughs> Thanks for showing me that cool skateboard trick in the parking lot. You are too cool. Good luck on stage and rock on, of course. Stanley, my true love. Oh, man. Apparently, I've written a book now. Thanks, narrator, for all this. Oh, there's like a little golf thing. Can I... What if I wanted to play mini golf? No? No mini golf? No mini golf allowed? Gotcha. Okay. Just, um, very linear, sir. I haven't seen another path except back. Or they they cut off. Might have another aneurysm. Ah, so slow. Oh. What's well, alright? I'm famous now. <laughs> alright, employee four three two. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Three, Stanley decided four. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard four, Stanley three, two looked, is a pencil he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. He's the one without the computer. There's a pencil sharpener with a lamp. <laughs> huh. You know... The cameras that they watch them from must be really hidden, because I don't see anything. We must find our next input computer, you guys. There's got to be another one. Input. Input. Click. No input computer! Where are you? That I'm trying Stanley to. Stanley went around touching every yeah, little yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do this a lot. But it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Sir, may I enter other rooms? I'm looking for a computer that requires some input. No, not this time. Maybe somewhere else. Gotcha. No. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I kind of want, kind of want to see how the broom closet's doing. Oh, fine, fine. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just, just to admire, to admire it. it. 
Of course, just to admire it. I'm famous now, narrator. You can't tell me what to do. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. I don't just see any to spend coke, a few guys. moments here in this immaculate, no Mountain Dew. beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply Coffee here, nut. drinking it all in. <laughs> nut. <laughs> nut. I hate Mondays. Number one dad. What's the other one say? That's yes. Valid. Really, really worth it being here in the room. That's some nice room pictures so that are repeated throughout the game. But even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. I, I don't think they're paintings. I think they're just prints. Uh, the fact that he is continuing... At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered <laughs> to on talk creepy, makes me want to stay. ...on his overall personality. It's possible that this is, is why you everyone wolf. left. It's possible this is why everyone left, because I'm insane. Close the door. What? No. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was Have no more, he decided Thank you. the game Have fun was trying to send Nazis. a message. <laughs> Anything else, Nairon? Patience is rewarded in this game. Nonsense. I'm not allowed to leave. Back, well, back. I'm allowed to leave. Anything else, buddy? Just, I can sit here. I can do this. I can do this forever. No, I can't. I'm really impatient. But I, I want to be able to do this forever. Now, your clock tick. But does time actually move? For just the second. They asked me to set the time, but it doesn't actually do anything. Because this time is is not... Like, it doesn't match. You know? I don't think he's going to say anything else. It's been, like, a considerable amount of time. think the minute hand moves. You never know. Wait. Well, it goes. Because it doesn't move slowly, I don't think. Moving. Well, you know, he could get, uh, he could get bored. Do you think the minute hand moves? I feel like it's gotten further while we're watching this. I think it does move. Huh. Anyway. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first <laughs> open door on his left to get back to business. First open door on my left? Nah. Hello? This room. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. If you do not lie, if you're lying right now, stop. Taco business? Nacho business. And is it taco business instead of nacho business? Oh. <laughs> I keep trying to fit in, like, in places. I don't know why. Hmm. I need a key card for that, apparently. I need to play some Quake key. Doom? Doom has key card. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift. $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift. $5,000. Penalty for death. <laughs> Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize, but in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley left from I'm the glad he thought it and it. plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> this the absolute audacity of this narrator. Yeah, okay, the clock does move because it starts in the middle of the four and it and it ended up 
between the four and the five. So it does move the longer you spend time here. Good to know. Already this was uncomfortable. And Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. Uh, does that mean we should go back to the, uh, the beautiful... Why do we feel uncomfortable? Um, excuse me? Ex excuse me? I saw a person. I saw a person. I saw a person! I am not alone! I am not alone! Ah! Where, where'd you go? Come back. Come back. Come back. When Stanley came nope, to no, a I gotta go to the right. They were this, this way. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps Hello? he wanted to stop by the employee Hello? lounge first, just to admire it. Hello? I saw a person. Do you guys see them? I saw them. I'm not, I'm not insane. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room. No, I saw a person. Too horrible even to consider. I'm not leaving again. Maybe he'll talk more. We stay for a little bit. Yes. Is this really, the same dialogue? Really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating. That seems like that the same dialogue. But even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. I mean, I feel like it's worth it. I discovered things about the time last time I was in here. That's very useful. Same speech, same speech. At this point, Stan is obsessed yeah, 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 with this yeah, room, yeah, but at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Oh, thank you. Stanley was so bad at following directions. I will not jump to my death wasn't this time. Years ago. All right. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Is it my wife? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. I heard I had a wife. You're asking for me, I'm asking for her. My wife? This is it, Stanley. Does she have your a name? Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Hmm. Who is, who? Where? I heard, I heard, I mean, I heard I had one. Sir, this is nothing but black pit. What What do you want me to do with the, go into the black hole? What a space. Ah! Ah! That's her, Stanley. You ah! need to be the one to do this. Ah! To reach out to her. I'm a millennial, I don't answer the fucking f telephone, what? Another. Then pick up the phone. I love her. Who? As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance. I didn't pick but up the hope. phone. Hope for a life reunited one. Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Yeah. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? Kindle told you me. You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. Ring, 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 ring. No, Banana phone. it's definitely here, clear as day. Do, Stanley do, 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 picks do, do, do. up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, but room don't credits. you pledge yourself to Not your wife picking before? Up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, I that's broke out of the I story, Mr. Narrator. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> 
What are you saying about I Stanley? I believe I was so mistaken. Who the hell this is smoking in here? This is why you able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. I do if what I want. If you made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real world decision making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Severity. Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment oh. so we can educate you properly oh. on safe decision making in the real world. Oh. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Huh? Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself Fish. speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Uh. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot then continue leave. talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness. Is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. What is Most happening? Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to says, test goodness, and reinforce is the material covered in this video. I'm supposed to be having a back, sack, and crack. <laughs> you are! Welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Huh? Yes? Back sack and crack and done. <laughs> what? What? Where am I going? What am I doing? Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform oh. and dying. Imagine oh. the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. What if I want to fall? No Let me out! We just need to get you home as I soon just as possible want to die. the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Oh. Unfortunately, okay. it seems this in, place in a video, is not well in equipped to deal game. with reality. Which? Where? He is really guard railing me, isn't he? Yeah, you can't go anywhere. You're a real person. I have to show you big bad choices if I let you. Where are we going? There, Raider! Narrator, there was another person here. I saw them. What'd you do with them, Narrator? I do Almost like this there. Room. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. But I do like this room. Oh, see, it's almost, it's almost to the five now. <laughs> We've been dicking around in this story instance for a while. Okay. What are you teaching me? Where are we going? We're doing a... Now remember, all you need to do huh. is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> Call Dad. Who is Dad? This is, uh, this no! Why did you do that? 
quickly. Hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps oh. we're not too late. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, I think your game is broken. <laughs> Please consult instruction manual. <laughs> Gotten so quiet. Narrator? Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything it's we talked okay. about. My story. You've destroyed my work. Oh. Why? Oh. For what? What did you get out of that? What did oh. you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even okay, if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have sure. to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Mm -hmm. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? Oh. Or willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. Oh. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I oh. No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. Narrator I the have to. Oh god oh. oh. Kindle unit is experiencing numerical dyslexia. Please dial one nine two. Uh, narrator. Oh, I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish, with you. I'm part you, of the rubbish. Who thought you were so clever? I'm not clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. Oh. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. Sir, you might want to have more funny? things that make you see? feel. Didn't I impress upon you, you know, how important it was to be person. like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't He's even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you. You're nope. a child. So are you? Oh. Yeah. My story. I wanted the ceiling. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. <sighs> you would have destroyed it I've and seen been it, victorious. Though. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. Did a I great tried job. so hard to make... Oh. Uh. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. Oh. That oh. means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Oh. Sir? I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. No, <clears> cheats. <throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. <laughs> behave exactly as Stanley would. I crashed that the means game. choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. <laughs> I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Da 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 Oh! Oh! No! Why did oh. you do that? Quickly, hurry back! Is behave exactly as Stanley this going to keep happening? <laughs> choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Oh, I'm no. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Da, da, All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you For some do reason, that? the trigger okay. won't. Hurry back. <laughs> okay, it's just gonna do the same thing, huh? Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting fine. the story first. Fine. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> 
When Stanley came to a set of wanted two to break everything balls, again, though. He entered the door on his left. Fine. Left door it is. No! I'm not gonna type in the cheat codes. It's funny. That's, I mean, that's nice. But yep, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Tips for not getting Stanley fired. Talk to less. To his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <gasps> oh, the broom cut. It's like a scene. Oh. Well, the till he doesn't do anything. So. Not even allowed in the broom closet anymore. Coming to a staircase, <laughs> not allowed to do anything to anymore. <laughs> oh, I'm in trouble with the narrator. No choices allowed anymore. Oh, there's not even a bathroom anymore. He's had a love enough of me a lot. Let's be real. Oh, off the chain. Um. Stepping inside his manager's office, oh. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Okay. Shocked, unraveled, Ooh. Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Oh, Night the panda's shark still being shot! Was this the code to open Night the door? Shark one it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up. But now, he would draw from within himself the courage to <laughs> face the unknown. You done? He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Night shark one five. I'm doing it. Night night shark <clears throat> one five. Stanley spoke the code. Oh, one one five. Night sorry. shark one one five. Sorry, sorry. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. I am night shark one one five. I can't speak. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me. No, did I you? can't talk. Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial I, step. I don't know how to speak. There's no. Uh, Stanley's body is not made for speaking. I'm stuck inside okay, of it. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to I mean, do. I asked you for this one Jesus, single thing for your respect. Look, I know the I haven't earned any of Stanley this. Stanley shows thing. for his choices. So he knows what it. it means to take a story seriously. Uh, if you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted well, over I there. Broke the why did you come this way? I Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself. You can't. You. They can't talk. Is it, oh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? It's broken. Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Uh. Are you listening to me? Uh. Can you hear me? Oh. Uh. Is oh. everything all right? No, he's broken. Stanley, this is important. Broken. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. Gross. It cannot exist without Gross. you. Do you understand me? Gross. Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Oh, oh God. The narrator's Should having you? a crisis. Do something. I'll push him if you want. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. Oh my god. The, the narrator's lost his mind. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? I, okay. 
God. Did you win? I'm confused. Sorry, Leroy. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. I don't think anybody won. There you go. I don't. I don't think anybody won. To decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Aren't you nice to me like this, narrator? When I hold still, you get all mad. <laughs> oh! Back! Stanny knew the office layout like the back of his hand. Do you? It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. And so Just sharpener, a matter of time. please? Where is the guy that's in here? Stanley went around touching every This is where I saw him last office, time. But it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what exactly my obsession is with touching everything now. I feel like it should do something eventually. Like, if I touch it enough, then stuff will happen. But I haven't gone through the Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? Content that is new, I assume. And it's never the end, it's never the end, it's never the end, it's never. Narrator, where are we going? Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the it Stanley was Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical I was 19 years success, old. It was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Ooh. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. More games, smiley face. More Please, smiley face. step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh well, this sounds delightful. More stuff, I'm narrator. I'm excited to see the thrilling new ultra deluxe content. Me too. Me too. What do we got, narrator? Oh, this one doesn't have butt. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet. Oh, you I'm know sure I can make an elevator. It's the beginning Great. of a mesmerizing adventure. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we? Should we be moving somewhere or up? Oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've it's just never a little been buggy. more ready. Let's do it. Has a lot of content at beginning of 2020. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if them. I love elevators. Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Going. The jump circle. All right. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. I have 36 jumps I can do? It's, but I've never been able to jump it? before. Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Yes, this is the content I've been wanting. Jump, Stanley, jump. Jump, Stanley! I have been pressing the space bar randomly. Oh. Well, that's just sad. Wire that it doesn't go anywhere. Right, okay. What's the, what's this? Uh, 
vent and stuff. But, all right. Okay. Well, we will keep going. But what else do you think there is, narrator? Is, oh, there's more elevators. I do love a good elevator ride. Goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. Really? I it's love jumping. elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. Would you? hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Ooh. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Thank you for enjoying the new content. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a, a cheap on the nose, to market it? for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And there don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance <laughs> department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter. And <gasps> on Twitter? Oh my god, are you going to cancel them? <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content. Narrator can cancel people. They could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. Yes. No frills. Okay. No gimmicks. If that makes you just happy. Just you and me please. having a great time together like always. Aww. What do you say, friend? Aww. Oh. 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 Sir, I think we broke something. Uh. Narrator? Narrator, you broke it! Nar Narrator! Uh oh, guys. Stanley, come over here, in the vent. I want to show you something. Coming. Where are we going? Oh, we're loading it. I don't really think we needed a loading screen for this section, did we? Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying mm -hmm. the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be. Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. Really? Really? I call it the Memory Zone. It's oh! where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful uh, Stanley team. Parable was before Amazing it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Back it's then, all the magazines. I haven't seen cars go. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. indie box collector's edition. Awards, good times, the screens. I haven't seen all of these yet. I don't think. The mugs. A Tony. It's um. It's got a, it's got its name taped over top of it. <laughs> Mind control facility. Remember, remember. Look at those little Firefox. Smile because it happened. <laughs> Why is this so cute? Well, the first, the first money they made. 
the demo! Outside, don't play for five years. Oh my god. Unachievable. It is impossible to get this achievement. Nominee for a British Academy Award. <laughs> this is adorable. It's, it's when I died! Look, it's when I died! <laughs> So cute, narrator. You did a good job. Well, can we sit on this bench together? Oh no, the flowers are solid. Favorite... Your favorite dream is to play the game for the entire duration of a Wednesday? Really? That's fantastic. Little Stanley! No! The piano! And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and some endings succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Alpha ending one or beta ending Stanley? in the gallery. Ooh. Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. I mean, it's, it's it was fine. every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. Actually, you can it's buy the original still. No, if you want it. A lifeless husk. It is different. They they changed some of the endings content. from the original are not in this one, apparently. I I read that on the internet. I don't actually. <laughs> oh, it's the line. I wanted to do the line one. Oh, there's the Minecraft level. I know there's a portal level too. There it is. I want to do those. I want to find them. Are they? Down here. Memory zone maintenance. Oh, okay. This, this is just the maintenance hall. I, I won't worry about that, sir. I'm sorry. Uh. Oh, did you begin it? The, the doors. The doors. Of course. Oh, all of our buttons? <laughs> Stanley, the person of the year. Oh, the two, the two characters they only, they made for the whole game. It's, 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 it's the program. It's Maya. Hello. The top 10 memories. The car. Computer with us, with Stanley on it. Oh, we haven't figured out where to get the different color doors yet. Stanley Parable. All the buttons, the clock. The ticky clock, of course. Your number is 29. I haven't been there. The end is never, the end is never, the end is never, the end is never, is never, never, is never. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, mm -hmm. and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've Bye. ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. But I like to spend this the rest content of time you made. Collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video games. Oh, members. god damn it, Russell. Now I lost the game. Now everybody who knows what the hell we're talking about has also lost the game. The end is never as the end is never the end is never as the end is never. The end is never. Sir? Where do we go now? Serious room. <sighs> oh. These were simpler times. You win. Stanley. Win what? But I wouldn't give to go okay. back to have it all over again. I mean, 
You can put me there if you want. I... Oh. Wait. Hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Oh, we're going to see, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. Uh-oh. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? I mean... Uh-oh. We only played 2.9. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, oh, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I like you! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley parable, but uh -oh. the game is already... He's gonna have another crisis. You've got... Oh, it's profound raining. philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Hey, um, it's I. I think you're pretty cool, bud. I, I think I think the narrator's cool. I, fine. It's fine, friend. You're okay. Please don't freak out again. We're gonna be okay, right? We're gonna be we're okay, right, buddy? Right, buddy? Oh, dude, it's. Uh oh. Okay, let's see what this one says. Well, these the are real. The game is good. For someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. No, I don't oh, think goodness. so. I, I mean, honestly, you're, more, you're mostly sarcastic. I, I think it's I pretty always, good. Well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much Wait, fluff Unity I cut from the game. Ah, I see. But maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These and you can just block them out, bro. I forget lots of things. Record. I feel. Ah, that's afraid. why it doesn't work. Yeah. Like I let these. Because I know there are things that are different. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Hmm. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. 9.8 You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. Can if you I'm skip truly button? too preachy then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Dude, what are you Only fucking summoning? of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. You would? Yes, a skip button we shall have. Okay. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people. And if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue, and it goes something like this. The story and the choices are what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 we've eaten too much and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible. Sounds to like manufacture. an AI wrote it. It went on for nearly 10,000 years until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. Oh, never a moment before lunchtime. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say. The story and the choices are what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so oh, forth, until inevitably, it. we all oh. until the end of time, at which time... 
Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty ah. of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen Spicy to believe it was perhaps says, one of my is more that profound father, ruminations. Dad, Not that, Popper? of course, you need a I have missed you, sir, it, narrator. to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination hmm. and I like more of when a he talks. Or maybe a manifesto. A manifesto? Look, I'll outline it for you very briefly and you okay. can tell me what you think. Okay, so my theory is that any choice you've ever made is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are or were or will be at the time of having made said choice. That is to say, yes. if by articulating a choice you've already made, you bring that choice into being, then by making no choice and saying nothing, are you not simply erecting in the sanctuary of time a monument to every person you've ever been, making every choice to which you've ever given your great gift of mortal and yet timeless thought? Or rather, do all of the choices you've ever made, in fact, make you more not this kind of person? And in fact, that the is the opposite. main you character see, of the could story could in fact here. be both of these Narrator. things at once. That you are both making choices and not making choices, and that they are both affecting you and not affecting you at the same time by virtue of the fact that you both are and are not making them. Okay, at first, I was leaning towards manifesto, but now I'm going to circle around and slap the treatise label on this one. I think it has much more of a treatise vibe to it. What is it? But wouldn't you say that manifesto just has a much grander sort of tone? I mean, it has a mouthfeel that is rich with ambition and Crazy history. people. Ambitious history, if you will. Ah. See, now you've got me going back to manifesto. Heavens, at this rate, we're going to be here all day. Huh. Okay, look. I have a method for exactly this sort of situation, oh, and I do find myself like in this situation Like a coin flip, maybe? Frequently. Decide which one you want. i say each word back oh, and forth never. in repeated succession logic. until I become sick of one or the other. Oh, in which you... case, the word I am not sick of shall be the victor. Okay. It is an unimpeachable strategy, Stanley. It's yeah. rescued Continue. me from disaster in countless situations. All right, here we go. Treatise, manifesto, treatise. I get manifesto. the feeling he's going to do this for the Treatise. rest of time. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Yep, it's a repeating Treatise. clip. Manif Have you decided? <laughs> well, there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the part. Ah, it's of only the been like about the 10 minutes. I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie Nine will say about this, and whether they'll edit the ring. Yeah, of Cookie Nine, review, there's a skip button or at least now. Change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first can place. Can you change your Steam review? I guess I should become better educated on exactly how Steam works. I don't think I, uh, I've ever left a review. Perhaps that would have been the smart thing to check on before I went about this whole exercise oh, of making the skip button. Mm. Although I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting new technology at work. Surely, whoever it is runs Steam. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer. Ooh, and longer. you're right. It's that been like. The last one was, well, I want to say maybe 40 minutes? 30, 45 minutes. Almost an hour. It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself Hi. about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press oh, okay. the button again. We'll press the button. We'll I stay think over here. the skip button has been aptly demonstrated. Right, good and work. we can say goodbye to it and just wait. How do we get out of here? How do we get? Where did the door go? Wasn't Can't you just a make a new door? The You're the narrator. Make a new door. And Stanley walked through How the door. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think one can enter a room without a I door like of wire. some sort. Now that I know that it's wire. Something like that. Do you see a window anywhere? A porthole, mm, a sufficiently a large crack bed. in the wall. I'll take any of these. All I want is for us to move on and to please step away from the I skip stepped away from the skip button. Other than the skip button. There was a door here before, wasn't there? I swear there was. Where did it go? Can you maybe just ram your way I can through try. the wall? Is, uh, is there any uh, possibility that you could, say, slam your uh, body into the wall uh, until enough damage is done for you to be able to uh, leave? Please. Uh, I'll take any option at all. It's not working. I'm asking you to work with me here. Uh, I, we need a door. We, do need, we need a, a door. door of some kind. I'm, I can work with any kind of door. I'm trying. As as it can open and I'm lead trying. From one room to another. I'm, I'm going to step away oh, for just are? a moment. Okay. And I'm going to try to find us a door. 
I'll keep I don't working know on how this. Exactly to remove a door and place it in a different wall, but I will find a way. I promise. I mean, you've you done lots of things. I'm sure it's fine. Don't you made a whole thing like a button. show. Please, please, oh, please I, look, do not I'm, press the skip button. Just wait I'm here. Waiting. Wait here for me. Wait. And don't press the skip button. We always end up Got arguing, it? don't yes. we? Good. I'll be right back. I mean, I do need to pee. Gonna. Guys, I don't think the narrator is coming back for us. He's gone. I I say, I, I, gone. Hell about it. <laughs> I just left it. I just left it on a clock. Hello. Do you like the ticking? I like the ticking. It was very nice. Kind of soothing. I have a ticky clock, but I, I, we had a fight earlier. Uh, right. Narrator! What'd you miss? You missed, uh... We've been locked in this room with a skip button who we've been told- that we've been told not to push, but we- I... Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! Oh! You've just been frozen there! I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're uh, really, truly getting longer in my- You head. left There's me no here all alone! Room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've what are we gonna do? One of those walls a thousand times, and there's no door. Then so you're gonna get another there's door. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. It can't I get worse, no can idea it? How long I'll be made to sit here? And more than anything else, I don't know how to stop you from pressing the button again. I can't control anything in this room, Stanley. I can't touch it. And I have to believe, I have to know that sooner or later, no matter how much I plead with you, you're going to press the button again. Why would you? I've been thinking and thinking. Because and I, I don't have I anything don't else to do. I don't know what I do to convince you otherwise. Oh my God. And it's all because of those reviews. Those reviews that I couldn't get out of my head. I just couldn't ignore the negative. Oh, Stanley, you're back. Oh you're God. Back. Oh my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Um, Stanley, I... I think it's been a week or two weeks. I've been sitting here really? all the time. Just the lights here, went out in that short of a time. I, we should get better you lights. That that's just how it's always been, right? Oh, God. You're talking and you saying nothing. I, Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? As a plant dying. Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? That's true. It isn't, Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. 
because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. Oh, I have That's to be what listening. I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. Where's this I've light coming so from? so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe You left you. before. You can just go away. There is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing Has this been a year? regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days. Months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. All okay. of them collapsed down into a single instant. I think the narrator's instant, losing it. I could see myself clearly, calmly, with a collected heart. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both delight and disgust. <sighs> Hello? Guys, the clock stopped working. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're all alone. Did the narrator die? Can narrators die? Ah, they're beaming. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. Oh, it was dead. meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, "Entertain us!" It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs Wait, down with you and make him. all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much. They said first he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to. It's gone again. The end is never 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 the end Oh boy, that can't be good. And there's never the end is never the end is never the end is never and is never the end is never the end is Hello Hello Hello, I'm stuck in here. My narrator died or something. Guess we just. Oh, huh. this is nice. They're trees. Oh. I don't like this one. Let me out. Let me out. More. Oh.
I... Well... Guys, I think the world ended. Narrator? Guess we just walk off into the great unknown. Narrator? Are you here? Narrator? Never the end is never the end is never? The end is never! Never mind, it's, everything's okay. Just reset, we reset. It's all good. Right. Narrator? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley Detector. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Huh? Everything seems suspiciously normal. Huh. Oh! New, new content? But I haven't even done the old, old content yet. Oh well. Oh good, you noticed my sign. Yes, I have something very H exciting to show you. Ha Harry Potter? Oh, go in. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Thank you for the dance party. Let's find some new new you know, the the world ended and everything. Um, so you know it's fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I know you just like one they shifted over that happens to me sometimes when I play video games and then I'm like Why did I use all of those skills? You just shifted over one column Okay, show me the new new content. I'm glad you're not dead. Poor narrator Killed him Oh, this again? Elev elevator? Well, I do love a good elevator. You may have noticed. Oh, back new content backwards. Back there. Alright, now what? Narrator? You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable mm -hmm. and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out yeah, to be. Yeah, that a jump circle. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark. And any new content for it should live up to that legacy. Mm -hmm. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why uh. I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Oh! Ah. Huh. So, yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go and in so never many the end different again. directions. This is what fans have truly been asking Investor for. Investor Showcase. Taste the sequel! <laughs> Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? <laughs> Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future oriented, it mm -hmm. screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. Long-term franchising potential. That's a... That's some marketing words if I ever heard. Pitch. It's a pitch. There. They're back. Two doors! Old and busted. New hotness. Cool red section of the chart. 
new hotness. <laughs> More the Stanley Parable. Better the Stanley Parable. I mean, you're right, right? More, more, better. Oh, they decided on this one. I, I think that's right. I mean, this one's cool, too, with the, the, the two, the little... Is that a reference to Men in Black? Uh, which thing? I actually have seen Men in Black. Um... I saw the, the first one and the second one. We're on streaming service. Double Stanley. Double the clear, fun. I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable just know it's gonna is going to be good. Be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. Uh -huh. I figure that if I can loosely organize also, hello. a handful of interesting Colin, concepts, how are you? that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Fuzzy magic. What do you want me to do? Get on the bus? Oh no, there's a, there's. A, I thought this was blocked off. I was confused. <laughs> Here we are. Go on. Try out <gasps> some of the new features. I want to find a bucket. Merch. Of course. The end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end. Never the end. Oh, it's my head! It moves. Office decorations. The, the bucket. The infinite hole. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. Balloons, But I'm sorry. undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? <laughs> uh, happy 12th Birthday is the funniest in an office, I think. I just... Oh, okay. Uh... Happy 12th birthday, Stepneys! You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. So Get not... Well, someday it is. Not what I, I would pick. Okay, gotcha, little asshole. This is, like, significantly more hilarious for an office, though. Don't you think? <laughs> oh, he's added them. Okay. Well... Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. <laughs> no, I've made my decision. We're moving. Oh, it's on. the giant me. Oh God. Free and easy achievement. Get it here. It just <laughs> works. Pull the lever. Receive your new achievement. No more steps. Cool. Give me an achievement. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement mm -hmm, that got mm -hmm. left in the game on accident? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Uh -huh. Yes. Ah. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's a simple... Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that oh. will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. Oh. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but, but I guarantee it will... not a wizard, a guys. ...to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously <laughs> demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear <laughs> Gamers. You, and I promise it will happen. Hey, gamers. Don't you want... Don't you want the achievement? <laughs> He's... Not a wizard, Stanley. Oh, fine. I guess I won't get the achievement, whatever. Not like I wanted to have a good time. Narrator. What else do you have for me, buddy? Besides my what else? What other giant exhibits face. haven't we seen yet? Huh. <gasps> the jump circle! But I'm out of jumps. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's... Oh, wait. Oh. You already spent all your jumps the first time we yeah. saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice oh. decorative piece, then. Oh. But I want to jump more!
Well, that's, <laughs> this looks so sad. The giant sad, this giant sad head. Can you find them? Can you, can you find them? Can you, can you find, collect them all? Can, oh. Ah, collectibles. Well, that's now, true. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. Of course, we have to get innovative. tiny figures. There will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You I do simply love a number. All of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. It's me! I got it. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. <laughs> the Absolutely worst. I never wanted a tragic. reward for collectibles ever. It's awful. Exit jump circle. Okay, we've already done this. But what else? What else? Expo Hall. This map. The free achievement. Setting full chip. The reassurance bucket. Ah, yes. <gasps> Wait! The infinite hole! <laughs> It won't end. Oh, oh, we've been in here. Okay, this this is where we came out. Gotcha. Okay. I heard there was an infinite hole. <laughs> the rim <laughs> of the hole. Educational uses only. Gotcha. All right. Well, tell me how this works, bud. Show Stanley, me, narrator. Here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. Infinite it's never hole. Been done before in a video game. This is in fact a hole. I definitely never jumped in a That's hole right. that. Infinite falling. Okay. You can fall until the end of time if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Okay. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, huh. since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. You know, I don't think I will. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. No, I want to fall forever! Sooner rather than later spectrum of things. I guess we're gonna just fall forever. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. What do you mean? Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I was I lied to. I say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. is I'm glad that your infinite? hole is astonishingly well, deep. It sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, Whee! The infinite is merely philosophical oh, in nature. Oh, it's more of a... Oh, oh. Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. Oh. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a Ooh. liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Man, people are still Look, smoking in this the game. The here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants just to fall the two infinitely? Of us. I make it the if hole we try. as deep just as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Uh, Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, I think the narrator and Stanley might need I think couples therapy. Things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole mostly infinite? If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Can I do it again? Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more. Oh, for heaven. You see, I was right. The problem is you. <laughs> I am the problem. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. normal. This is all very suggestive, the narrator. The hole right there goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... I think the hole got shorter. 
Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? Mm -hmm. I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in yeah, there. And that the top isn't floor. as I mean, tiny. Admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Hey, well, I suppose once again there's nothing short, to do here. Infinite. If you decide you've had oh. enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. Nope. I really do have gosh. How could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing with Wow. Okay. Yes. Narrator, it's getting to shorter. I'm extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. Mm -hmm. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep. I think I broke even it. By the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Okay. Well, there it is. Oh. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole. How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't All see this holes are good. itch. <laughs> oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Oh, holes are good holes, you guys. Even this incredibly shallow one. We do all love holes here. We do. We do. We're we're a, we're just a group of dirty little hole lovers. I love it because I can't jump. I can't just leave. I have to teleport. Oh. Hmm. It's not working. Narrator. Teleport button not working. Narrator, I'm stuck in a. I'm well, stuck I mean, in a foot deep hole. I really don't have an explanation. It was working God damn it. a moment ago. Try it again. Still nothing. Well, I suppose I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. Ah! You couldn't bear to be away from the hole. Oh, leave now me here. You'll get more time with it than you could Not ever again. ask for. It's a win for everyone. Oh, no. You get to be with the hole. I get to do literally anything else. Oh. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the whole. We really do need couples time. therapy. Let me out. Narrator! 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 Narrator, there's music playing. And this carpus kind of We descend. We descend. Magical. The puppy! 
Jeez. You're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there. There are Drifting puppies. away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley. Because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide oh. awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. And I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. Okay. You're gonna do it again, friend? Huh? Mm -hmm. And here I was hoping the hole would descend into infinity again. Oh! I got out! Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. Bucket. I want a bucket. I want a bucket. The bucket is a thing from the first game, but the I don't really remember that much about it. Was that it was confusing and paradoxical? That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who. Where's paid. my bucket? Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration. I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. <gasps> you see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm there and wasn't ease a bucket. will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. I don't know. As I don't long as you hold onto the bucket, it's been, the many it's been like a decade. Contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. I'm on the you bucket. may even come to long for the gentle embrace of panning cube <laughs> while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, I love it's a much in more Portal when you take the companion cube with you. Actually pissed Gladys the off, and then she kills it. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. <gasps> <laughs> ah. Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, the must bucket already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? Oh. I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? It's just a bucket. All this and more awaits you in the Stanley Parable too. I heard... Something. If only Valve could count to three. It's been 11 years since Pearl Tube. We all know the third doesn't ever happen. Not real. All right, well, I guess I'll just take this bucket with me. Come on, bucket. Let's go explore the rest of the hall. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? I don't that really should think be an award if it isn't so. already. It says no screenshots. Can I? What if I take a screenshot? That F2 was the Steam screenshot button. Oh, what about? No? Okay. Genuinely, no screenshots. Gotcha. F5? Nope. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. You are your name in the game. I feel like it's making fun of um the Fallout 4. <laughs> Cogsworth thing. Where he says, For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most right. obvious answer is that they want to be right, individually recognized going. and validated as people. So Dude. with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful?
people on this computer, dude. Um, okay. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. Doesn't even say but Stanley? Course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Uh, Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. All right. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim. Right, we, sleeping we got it. and waking as Jim. Falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim. Seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim. And as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If I'm a so, cashier at the local supermarket. Step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see, what a thrill, what a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again, do it again. Jim. Ooh, it hits even harder the second time. <laughs> okay, if buddy. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Can you say back it's there? From the gym button. Oh. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Jim. Oh, there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the gym button away. Jim. Otherwise, soon Jim. you'll start to Jim. lose all Jim. sense of who you Jim. actually Jim. are. Jim. No! Damn it, narrator. Took my gym button away. What if I wanted to be Jim? What if I wanted to be Jim forever? The narrator doesn't care about my feelings. Right, okay, so. Me and Bucket are gonna go explore this random hallway I saw. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Not Parable work, too. Buddy. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. Yeah. What's over here? Epilogue. An epilogue would be fun. It's Jim Lou. <laughs> yes, yes, it will go at the end. No, it's just um, it's Jim. Okay. Well, we'll Jim. figure that out later. Jim, 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 Jim. Up here. Settings world champion. Okay. Come on, bucket. Uh, bro. Your world champion settings room is not open. <laughs> That's new. <laughs> I know. Um,. I keep asking, but it does, I can't, you know, and make people come. I, I'll make a decision based on uh, the day that works best for me and, like, which people can come on that day and which people go to for which Oh, check the settings. You're right, but we have to be up here if we're going to check the settings, of course. I like how the bucket makes like a slight noise. Let's go. Okay. Huh? Hmm. Doesn't seem to care. Oh well. Da -de -da -de -da -de -da. The bucket can jump. Ah well, we can leave. I, I suppose it. The, there's a scroll bar. Are you talking in the settings? This you mean? I don't, I don't, what am I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, right. Toggle auto walk. Auto walk. Low dexterity mode. Reduce motion. Player data. How do you guys feel about, uh, about everything? 
Apparently there's been auto walk this whole time. I don't feel like this helps me <laughs> in any way. <laughs> Well, I'm going to leave the setting thing alone now and head towards the exit. Narrator doesn't even have anything to say about it. Oh, I have to, I have to go this way. I have a nice showroom, buddy. Uh, it doesn't really do anything. I did like the hole, though. 10 out of 10 hole. I am a hole lover, so obviously. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Yes. Ready to move on now? Oh, someone left their briefcase. Oh god, it's my face. Hello? Really large Stanley. Oh. Um. I, I mean, this is a, it's a room. So Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? I like yes, I the whole. It's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's okay. definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do oh, an experiment. Okay. experiment. I like I'll arrange oh. these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. All right, mm -hmm. go ahead. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable, Parable two. 2. Ah! Oh. Fuck it. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. But I... I, I okay, yes. This one had a hole yes, in it. This is much better. I feel good about this. Oh, okay. Here we go. I'm waiting. Version I'm waiting. All right, show two. me. Show me. Oh! <sighs> this one's definitely one weirder. Stanley. This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's okay, a lot of it. gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. Oh. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic yeah, of the right, first I'll, game. I'll I wanted fans the... to love it. No but matter the first how game good is... these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait. Maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Peacefully, oh? of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. You mean like it is Would already? It work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. Of a course. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Okay. Let me see if I can whip something up. Okay, of course. You you do your thing, buddy. I'll just oh, be perfect. here. Go ahead. Take a look. Oh, oh, oh we're, we're going. We're going to the... Oh. It's red. I think. <laughs> still, still nothing, bud? Okay. Begin the game. Uh... Game within the game within the game within the game. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company <laughs> in a big balloon. building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons you know, on the keyboard. That is Orders what we do. To him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what we do sit at our push, desk how long and to press push them, buttons. And in what this is what employee 427 did every day. I think it's like press M for 34 milliseconds. I don't know how long 34 milliseconds is compared to like 79 milliseconds. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Yes. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Mm -hmm. Something that would forever change. Stanley. Are my coworkers missing? Something he would never quite forget. Or is it the Moo Balloons? He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order 
had arrived on the monitor for this is a very follow. zoomed in dog no one had showed up okay, well something call a meeting or even say hi Aye. never in all his years at the company had this happened this complete mm. isolation right? something was very clearly wrong it's a bucket Shocked, in here frozen the solid, hole in the game Stanley now found himself unable to move for the longest time but as he came to his wits and regained his, his senses, senses, he got, got up, up from, from his, his desk, desk and stepped out, out of, his, of office. his office. Is my bucket here? All of his co-workers were Ooh. gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had I don't simply know, bro. missed a memo. You're the one who's in charge. <laughs> Fucking get... Stanley well went around done. touching every little mm -hmm. thing yeah, in the yeah, office, yeah, yeah. but it didn't make a single difference. <gasps> Nor did it have Stanley picked up the bucket. Bucket! I feel very reassured. Now with my reassurance bu oh. <laughs> this, is, this is a little just a little one, just in case. Oh! This balloon has gone to work. Person's not here again. Well, bucket and bucket go this way. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Bucket. Go this way, but with the bucket. Come here, bucket. Look, this is the meeting room. Still, no one was here. Where we can't find Stanley anybody, the but there's a fun projector. More than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. And here's the broom closet. Here, bucket. Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy. It's as clear as day. I don't think day. I this can go right now. Believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what well, the this broom is my closet bucket. is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. 2319. For you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand yeah, over the bucket. Yeah, my bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. Yeah, we this can't go back. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't yes. hand it over. Mm -mm. No. We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons. But now it wants my bucket. Than I had imagined. <laughs> and wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply Still talking. that you and the bucket are not truly <gasps> deep and lasting friends. I'm extremely insulted. That your relationship insulted. is purely superficial and convenient? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never. Well, oh, I Don't never. Me. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Well, Expand actually, on the wide variety of experiences I you like and the, the bucket have closet. shared together. Go through each of them like, point by be point. Inside the Share your closet. journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. I, I actually really like the broom closet. We have, we've, I've been inside it a lot, and you know we, okay, we share a I deep got you something which emotional I bond. Settle this debate once and for all. I think you Here might be go. making this up, narrator. Oh, there. I got a sticker. Set. No more debate, no more discussion. It's mine. Take a hike, broom closet, with Make all your stay. meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural I had a order sticker. of things. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. <gasps> it's a collectible oh, Stanley! Wonderful. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. Right. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. You are correct. I will... I will get more figurines. But Stanley just couldn't do it. 
He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting mm -hmm. he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that and risk? TV4. All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. Well, and we are kind of, something aren't we? Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked. Am I bucket. crazy, bucket? The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. That's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. Mm -hmm. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. My God, are we and that's having? When realized, this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. But it's Surely no good would oh, come from this. Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. Am I gonna die again? He noticed the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. Narrator! My bucket! He felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, gracious. He exclaimed, without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? Oh. I must find it. Bucket. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, bucket. it's me. The Where's bucket. my bucket? Could it truly be? He rushed <gasps> forward from room to room, passing Buckets. by one bucket to the next. None of them no. were his. None no. of them were his special. Oh bucket. my God. <laughs> Come to me, Stanley. I'm trying, Bucket! He had to find the bucket. Bucket! He returned to his old friend. It was the only way There's to truly restore his everywhere. sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. It was the real... incredibly painful. What? Stanley doubled over in agony. Oh! And blacked out. I... Did I eat it? Did I shove it up my ass? What happened? <laughs> This is the story of a oh, woman. Oh, Mariella, hey. Don't worry about it. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, she picked, picked up, up her, her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. Oh. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body I of lost man my bucket and I went crazy. Town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had mm -hmm. no bucket. Of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all if of my, his actions my and how everything is gone. predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with I him. I lost my bucket, Mariella. he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought. They lost she hugged her own bucket away from their bucket. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to <laughs> the confront. Same with, thing, for which but with bucket buckets? Would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself. My, my life, life kicks, kicks ass. ass. And she backflipped all the way to work. <laughs> all right, uh, narrator. Narrator, did the bucket? Where's my bucket? Already this was uncomfortable, and Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, Bucket. that he would never leave it again in his life. Bucket. Huh? Figure findings committee meeting today in the meeting room. Have you seen a figure, by the way, video game? I'm, I'm looking for more little Stanley figures. You know, as you do. Oh, there's my bucket again. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, <gasps> and a wave of comfort rushed over <gasps> Property of Stanley. The, like, little gate that's normally here isn't here. Good. Well, as long as we have our bucket, we'll be fine. Our, our security bucket? Our, 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 it's just, it's a bucket. Our bucket. Important, because it's ours. But it's just a bucket. Bucket of, of comfort and, and happiness. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly Yeah, yeah, chest. going right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Get on the lift. You mean the construction thing, right? 
And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Yes. Was this better than the meeting room? It is. Yes, Danny thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. Yes. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. Good job, bucket. Well, now that we've enjoyed the room. No, never oh, mind. Bucket. The bucket was wrong. Oh. Bucket. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Oh, but I'm not going to the meeting room, sir. I am going this way. Oh, nice little balloon. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere <laughs> else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Okay, bucket, if you say so. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why not, but Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket. I was his dearest paralyzed friend. by fear. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. Bucket and I are together forever. I want to go across. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Ah. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Bucket! The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt, melt away, away as Stanley embraced the bucket. But glad you're with me, bucket. Oh, gotta turn this one off too. Of course. Somebody out there? Alright. There's a person. I feel like I've gone insane now. There was a person one time, I swear. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Telling him that the employee lounge no. was simply the place to be. So we're gonna keep going. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No. no. Never mind. The bucket's the bucket wrong. wrong. He just says there a bucket Stand for Christmas. Left. It better say property as there on it. No, said the bucket. Don't I'll go, go to the, the meeting, meeting room. room. Go, go somewhere, somewhere else. else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Good, that? Said the bucket. This, this now part, ride this the lift thing? all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. <laughs> Don't it say dear God. Why dear God? Can't talk. But Stanley chose well, I not like to think the... about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him. And he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Hello, bucket. Look, we've gotten off the cargo lift. The first time I got in here, I actually was going to jump on here. But then I thought it'd be... Danger is everywhere. Two, B one. Hey, bucket. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that Hello, would explain a Fox. lot about your behavior up to this point, which, if that's Welcome to true, the Stanley well, Parable. Goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding. <laughs> this is the Ultra Deluxe version, and now I have a bucket. Rest of the game, if not addressed quickly and properly, so much of the impact of the story is dependent. This on is a bucket. Understanding of what is and Let me in. a bucket. Please step in here for a moment. You love this game. It's been very enjoyable. Uh, <laughs> I saw it like years and years ago when Markiplier played it, but I haven't seen it since. So this is all very, <laughs> this is all very new and interesting and <laughs> confusing. It was free on Epic a while back. Ah, that does happen. How am I? I'm good. How are you? We, uh, we've been asking, I've, well, we, I've been asking, me and the bucket have been asking everyone. If the, their first urge is to comply to instructions or to uh, to do something else to defy said instructions, uh, not not what you actually do, but what your urge is. Because some people like when they're told to do something immediately want to like do the opposite, but some people like me just want to follow the instructions. Uh, so I'm bu busy with your personal Discord server a lot today. I see. Uh, has something happened, or you just been working on it? Going dark. Oh, it's all right. <gasps> Is this a bucket? The game show? Now then, 
I'm going to run you through some test scenarios, okay. and you'll tell me bucket? whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not. <laughs> this will do the bare minimum of what is okay, expected of you. I see. That looks. Item one. Is this a bucket? No. Correct. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Oh, that's a very convincing hologram. Item two. Is this a bucket? No. Correct. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket. At what not an point actual bucket. is it a bucket then, narrator? Like, if a 3D recreation of a bucket must be just a bucket. Now, I've just been working on it with reaction rolls that are keeping. Item three. And keeping is life. Is this a bucket? Keeping life. Ah. Bringing, bringing it. Is this a bucket? No. Nothing is a bucket. Incorrect. Oh. This is a bucket. No, nothing's a bucket. I think I'm doing pretty good. Item four. Is this a bucket? What? Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. It's an enormous machine that tills the earth. Oh, it looks I like a bucket to a me. Gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely um. incredible. Let's just move on to the next one. I don't know, it looked like a bucket to me. It can carry things like uh, like fluids. Is this a bucket? Yes. Correct. This is a bucket. Yeah, that's a bucket. We're fine. I got most of those right. Uh, Item six. Is this a bucket? Yes. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. Is both a bucket and not a bucket? It is clearly a bucket. Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. Do you lose your bucket, narrator? Not a, there's nothing. Yes, thank you. There's nothing here. Mm -hmm. Of course it isn't a bucket. We both know full well that nothing isn't a bucket. Ah. Wait, when I say nothing isn't a bucket, that makes it sound like I'm saying everything is a bucket, which of course is not true. Unless, is that what you think? Answer me straight, Stanley. Are you trying to tell me that you believe everything is a bucket? You know what? I'm too confused <laughs> to even sort it out. He doesn't care. Lost all sense of perspective. I see what you're the crazy one. What is a bucket? One. What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I he could really answer these is. questions with confidence. So someone earlier said sim now, they sim for narrator. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Are you a bucket? Stanley, I can't keep yes. doing this. I'm losing myself, oh. and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. We all have apart. to go to relationship therapy again. I'm sorry, but I'm going to erase all buckets. <gasps> no, 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 no. You okay. can't erase my bucket. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I... What happened? Is everything gone? I told you everything was a bucket. Wait, was everything a bucket? Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my God, I had no idea. How could... Except me. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a <laughs> I'm bucket I'm not a bucket, either. you're not a bucket, no, but everything else. News. We're not buckets. Buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. You deleted still, everything. I to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So Narrator. What? I'll reset Get everything, and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. Everything's a bucket. if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Okay. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. Between a game and its player. Yes, I agree with that. It's very... <laughs> very fourth wall. I, uh, Self-aware, that's the word I'm looking for. It's very good. And... So no confusion ending with bucket. Got it. I have no idea what I just did. All of his co-workers were gone. <laughs> what could it mean? Stanley you decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hang on, I have to turn off all the computer. No matter how hard Stanley looked, uh, he couldn't find a trace guys, of his the co-workers. Are... 
The end is never the end, is never the end, is never the end, is never the end, is, is never the end, but also thank you for the love, but the end. Try it without the bucket for the ending. With the line, okay. No bucket, no bucket this time, only, but my bucket. Hang on, we have to turn off all the... <laughs> it's an important ritual I've established. That person? There was a person once, I swear to God! When no, I'm going. We're gonna go find to out. Door. This was not the correct way. We're gonna go find out what the what it says without a bucket. We have to figure it out. And I missed my bucket. Lounge first, just to admire it. I want Standing all of the endings. Headed. Obviously. I mean, we can't get them all to get back to business. But today, Stanley but I, took the you know. First open door on his left. Nope. I don't listen to you anymore. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's we need to go to therapy, narrator. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong stream. foot here. I don't know if I'm I'll play it next week. We'll really see. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact I'm going is to, but I'm going to walk it off at a specific point. We've already walked time. off the platform There's twice to our death. Someone you nope, forgot. nope. Really? I don't have a wife. I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? No. Well, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. I'm sure Look, my wife is lovely. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Okay. <laughs> there really has always been a bucket sign, huh? I did. The first thing I did was I did everything that he said, and then I did it again, but I pressed the the on button instead of the off button, and then he exploded me. <gasps> now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. <gasps> Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappy and then we've just, these things. What I've just been doing whatever. Mini stands. Stanley mini stands. Um, what about... <gasps> Stan Lorene's. Yes, I think I like that. Another Stan Lorene under your belt. Come on. Okay. What did he ask me to do? Oh well. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Ew. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find don't out what this lies game at all? at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, it's don't about the choices we make in video games and buckets. Do you see? There's nothing here. Oh. I haven't even finished building this section of the map. Your textures you are missing. Because you supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out? I uh, don't know why, but this game is more powerful when you followed the narrator once, then again. I think that's representative to take the conversation option. The virtual campaigns when you take them taking the evil options. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Specifically it's for you. It's obvious. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. Narrator. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. I did. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made Great this orange. game better? What did you want to see? The Vehicles. Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Yeah, a skill tree would be kind of what? cool, but like jumping a dark and a you bucket. Design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Huh. Aye. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback the here. The art ending? Sorry? Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, What's the name of the mostly, perspective? According in your gut. 
I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my the soul. The perspective game. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even Where you solve try. the puzzles by change, Here, just putting based things on the in data different from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park. That's with a this very one. big room. Let's take a look. Oh. oh. Okay, that's nice. The black and white, no. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers. If only please. to get away from your competitive hey, leaderboard. I nearly forgot, I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. You wouldn't mind taking I wish a look I at remember it, which you? game I was Perfect. talking about then. Let me boot it up. Nope. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. Oh. So why don't you give it four hours of play oh. to make sure it's effective? I be sure to keep notes on what? your experience. Bye, baby. You heartless bastard. I don't Did like you do babies. It because you hate babies or purely to spite me. I don't like because babies. If it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm <laughs> well, out. I mean, I'm you done. could, but it's I, over. I would. I'm Thinking just gonna look it up. In like Your input three was extremely <laughs> valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else? He takes everything so just to ease the pain. personally. You can play Let's it for see. four what do we have here? hours. Mm -hmm. There is no mm -hmm. chaos. Mm -mm. Yes, this command. seems like it'll work. But I appreciate your attempt. There you go. <laughs> oh! Aha! Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. Perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic <laughs> purpose. My hmm. twisted erotic yes, purpose? There's be. nobody here. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems it's Firewatch. Come, it. let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Who? Firewatch is the Firewatch. Ah, I see. Guys, you remember these stupid little asses? I used to make so so many of them in my school work. They were, they were all the rage when I was uh when I was in in. You watch Mark Flair play this? I watched him play the first one. The coolest. Yeah, the the better. I, I like how he's like, creep, creep tower. He called this my creep tower. I mean, that's, that's fair. Oh. That's fair, I suppose. <laughs> but there's nobody here to spy on and be creepy with for potentially erotic purposes. It's just the middle of the woods. Oh. Oh no. No 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 no, it can't be. What can't be? What what's wrong? Hang on, there's something over here. What is it? Oh. There's a tank! Wow. Amazing. Alright, continuing. It is. It's an open world game. Good god, quickly block it off! No! That aw. Thank goodness, Stanley, what a close call. You nearly wandered off into that, that... Not the thing, open world game. big open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, oh, oh thank <laughs> heavens we avoided He's it. He's sick. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm woods. going to get us out of here. Oh. Let's find another game. But, but, Preferably but, something but, with walls. But narrator... Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. Narr... Mm. 
<laughs> okay, I think this will be just the thing. Narrator! Do I know there is no game? I do. Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. You know there is Just no a game. nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. This now, fucking this Rocket League? is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's I need see. a big car. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, <laughs> I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we This must. is basically how okay, I Stanley, feel here's the ball. Have about. Ah! Or I am small. This is basically how I think about sports, though. Oh! My head's got it. Eh. Go. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Eh. Is it better than my eh. miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Stanley, I'm Go! And I realize I'm not Go! a sport. Ooh! Come on. What are you doing? I don't know. Whoa! 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 Narrator! Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. Okay. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Danny, come back. Bye bye. Whoa. Huh. Oh, I mean. Ah! I don't know if this game really wasn't afraid of bug testing, you have to say that. Imagine not, there's so much, so many directions you have to go in or you can go in. Where, sir, where am I? Oh, I guess, oh, there's a light. <laughs> it's like someone put uh, the office into post-apocalypse. Oh, hey, it's my, my office. Huh. I'll just sit at my desk and press buttons then. <laughs> okay, thank you for the lurk. Thanks for hanging out. Right. Let's go find. Oh, I got in trouble. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's got me. Game development meaning was just buy pounds of cocaine and a right sharpie. Now. That's I the best way to do ideas. Choice. Drugs. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it, he'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs I me. need you, Dad. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. Yes, like That's my bucket. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. I think the narrator's Once this evil. Ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Terminator. Very soon. I can wait. Can you? Narrator? You're only me with a. The end is never the end, is never. Ooh! We're back. Oh, the balloons are still... I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? Ha ha. Ha ha, yeah, the whole building suddenly is very funny. The end is never the end, it's never the end, it's never the end, it's never the end, it's never the end. I have a Warmth thing I want to do. spread through Stanley's arms. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. You don't do drugs, Stanley I am drugs? the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. The bucket him says we need to go to that room. was simply the place to be. And here well, it was. The bucket's wrong the about bucket this room. We have things to, to do. No, Come on, bucket. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. <laughs> Stanley took the door on his left <laughs> to go back to the meeting room. Very specifically. Now, said the bucket. 
Don't go to the meeting room. room. Go somewhere, somewhere else. else. The cargo the lift. lift, yes. Go, go there. there. Go, go to, to the, the cargo, cargo lift. lift. I want to go up here. Said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley okay. did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It's it should have alarmed him, of course, bucket. because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. Mm -hmm. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Listen to the bucket, but I listen to you, narrator. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed room? blindly. Is it dark? Oh, this one. Okay. Cool. Oh. The phone. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Okay. Pick the bucket wants me to pick up the this phone. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Where's Once my bucket? Upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. Bucket. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Bucket. Bucket. Oh, there you are, sweetheart. Press R to take me to work with you. Do I like? The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow bucket. of companionship. It doesn't literally are. talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the Bucket say to him is just in his head. Press M to take me back home with you. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned bucket. as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Work. Well, I'll try anyway. Stanley, can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's, That's better it. than you do. It doesn't do anything else. Don't listen to the loud man. Press K for us to go back home. You see, he's not listening. Okay. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. My, now all he cares about is this painting awful is bucket. bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. Press B to ignore anyone in your life except me. Great plan, bucket. Sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, Can't he's turn just the computer going to off. this bucket, this cold, empty bucket, this sort of shiny bucket. You gave me this bucket. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shiny. You're right, it does. It. Right. You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Press V to go back home. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. Yeah. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? More sturdier. Yeah. More capable of transporting That's excellent. Liquid. It's a good Like it would bucket. be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. Mm-hmm. Too rusty to relive the same day with me. Over. Over. Oh my god, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. A Why do I feel bucket. some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? Press O to go home to work to home to work to home to work to home to work. Oh, no. I'm I'm having feelings for the bucket. No, 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. So What's fucking... wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps, if I had the bucket, no, no, my it bucket. would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this oh. troublesome situation. You can't have my bucket. Stanley, give me the bucket. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. I need it. Give it to me now. Give it or I'll... To work, Stanley. You, you killed the narrator bucket? Yeah. 
bucket. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Guys, what happened to my bucket? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Bucket. Oh, 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 oh. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again. Not truly alone. Bucket. Not with the bucket around. You're right, bucket. We'll never be alone if you are with me. Let me do the whole thing normally, but with bucket. Come on, bucket. Oh. Blue. Is it always blue? I, I lost my mind. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. <laughs> There's still the confusion ending. I don't even. <laughs> There's so many different endings. <laughs> Need more planks. Mission status. Lots of boxes. Some are both red and blue. Gotta collect them all. There will be a reward for finding them all. Lies, who are you? There will be cleaning of this wall required. Big leaves are hard to find. Hang on, I wanted to... Press the completionist instinct. Right. Will. Bottomed. <laughs> we are the collectible. All floating objects of curiosity have to be messed to synergize or resources to ensure their retrieval. There are so many questions. Oh, memo for management. Make some floating there. Who took these pictures of them? We can do it. Red room? Follow clues provided by employee 416. Fusion ending. At the end, community ending. At the two doors, pick the one on the right. Continue to the employee lounge. Then enter the door on the left as designated by the narrator. Press the elevator on the left instead of walking forward. Press the button within the freight elevator. I've never been to the elevator. God, there's so many things. I want a figly. Hello, broom closet. What are you doing? All right, I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going oh. to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. I want a bucket. You see, I feel that it works because the sticker is all coming to a staircase. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. I'm looking for a figly, a figlerine. <gasps> Toilet! Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. <gasps> Stanlerine is my favorite, I think. What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up Stan by one? Stanlerine! Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Team Stanlerine. Forever. To be rich is it a crime to commit crimes, isn't it rich? What a life it would be to just have to pick one. <laughs> Yo. Hello, I'm looking for a step figurine. <gasps> it's the input computer. I only found it. Only took six thousand years. They're figlerine in the elevator. Wow! Don't say rude things about my bucket like that. Right. Sorry. No. Nope. No. <laughs> No, don't say things about buckets like that. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Once again. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not it for the soothing, for the presence, soothing of the presence of my bucket. Even now, 
In his darkest oh. of hours, did the bucket's Never. warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. Mm -hmm. It would be with him always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Bucket. Yes. This is certainly knows the all. logical explanation. The bucket knows everything. The bucket will always be correct. Have you seen a, a Stan? <gasps> You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect what the was first that? one. And then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. I need we'll the first number to equal the second different number. in the sense that we used to have But I also need them. to do the confusion ending. And now, ending. we have them all. You can't go back to when you had what no figure, figure and Lorraine. None of us can. I wonder where my last one is. Right. Come on, Bucket. We have an ending to finish. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. Mm -hmm. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. All right, we Soothing have the... Him, comforting we him, have the reassuring, reassuring bucket. Reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. Bucket. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. As much as I'd like to go back up the elevator again. Uh... Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read... Mind Control Facility. All extension 914. I still haven't done that one. When you press the lift button, go back and hit the light button again. What? What? I press the lift button. Oh, okay. But I wanted to do it normally, but like with a bucket. This button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Yeah, I understood now. What horrible secret did this Sorry. place hold? Took me a Stanley second. and the bucket both wondered to themselves. Oh, it's a secret. Okay, okay. Cameras. The monitors jumped to life. Lights, camera, action. And Stanley action. nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was Don't being drop the bucket. monitored like guinea pigs. You know, not all of the these are employee rooms anything or anything, like right? Like and if they're just nearly burst into tears. Well, they're just like a hallway. Or a filing cabinet. Reassuring it that everything would be fine. It's okay, bucket. It's okay, bucket. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna save the day, bucket. You'll be fine. I just want. We gotta call the lift. Oh. Was the bucket under the mind control we can't go back. influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No, no going back aloud. Maybe if I didn't have a bucket, but I have a bucket. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept no! it. His own life in someone else's control. <laughs> no, Never! No. He squeezed the bucket tighter. Let's go. His one friend in the entire world. We will save At the world. Point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. But here was the proof. The heart and of the, the operation. But Controls labeled with emotions. Okay. Happy. Or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another. Except that Kindle life. has told me. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. And the bucket. They high-fived in a really cool way, and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Good job, bucket. Very shiny in here. <sighs> All right. But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the control. <laughs> the button, bucket did. gasped in horror. 
Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? Can't move. How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? No! Stanley was prepared Betrayal. to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Oh. Birds. Silly. Silly birds. The control buttons became active again. Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another. Oh, it is owls! I this don't wasn't like a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. <gasps> the pelican! The only a facade to disguise its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? Good job, Stanley bucket. marveled at the metal genius in his hands. The one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley is actually Ducks. Stanley and the bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place. Flipping Oops. through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. <laughs> of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. And Stanley Bird. was happy. Hummingbird. Okay. Oh. I was looking at birds. Good ending to end on the bird ending. <laughs> <laughs> the correct ending for this family parable is, in fact, the bird ending. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> There's a lot of more more things we can do, but that is... That's the gist of how this game works. You just keep doing things until... Until you've seen all of the things. And then you question why you've done all of that for four hours. Sequels now, <laughs> I forgot <laughs> that we were in the sequel. My bad. Well, right then. Uh, we're on. Oh, you were on. We're on. Aiden's on. Kev is on. Chef is on. Do we have anyone in particular that we want to go raid into? Do, 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 do. We have uh, we have Chef playing Dinkum. He's currently wearing a tank top and a fedora. Aiden is playing Sea of Thieves. Kev's playing League of Legends, and he has been for the past five hours. We could totally go see Kev if you want. Do that, Reaper. Kev. There you go. Here is the raid message. Let's. Go say hello to Kevin. Um, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. This game is a lot of fun. Um, might just finish some endings on my own. <laughs> uh, I do have to do some stuff. A uh, reminder that I am out of town tomorrow, and uh, if I stay overnight, I might cancel a Wednesday stream because Wednesdays are cursed, apparently. Um, but hopefully, uh, everything will be fine, and I will back to you guys. Um, and. As the bot just said a few like seconds ago, uh, if you haven't voted for movie night, holiday movie night and you want to join us, please make sure to do that because I will be deciding what we're doing. Uh, <laughs> I was saying that I wanted you to be here to see me wearing my collar. Um, woof. Yeah, we'll be deciding, I'll be deciding tomorrow what we're doing um, for the movie night. Don't worry, if it's even, I'll pick based on, you know, who's voted for the day that I choose that makes the most sense. Uh, and also just, like, what I might want to do sometimes. It's my, it's my new movie now. I can make decisions. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I think that's everything. So we will head off and go see Kev. Uh, we'll see you guys hopefully Wednesday, if not uh, in the description.